don't start when you look at me like that. And that's much better. Happy Tuesday, Matanaar. Congratulations on being first. Honest Psycho, how are you all doing? We're back. I'm getting stressful old. <laughs> Hello, Matanaar. Hello, Psycho. Hello, everybody. Congrats on being first, Matanaar. Um, Tifa stomach sounds are so much a thing before stream that we immortalized them as part of the intro reel um, during the thing. I mean, you know what it is. Um, <laughs> that was a small one. And I just asked Tifa, as I always do, are you ready? Sure. You start, I start, she says she's gonna start. Cool. Press the button to start the stream. And when she hovers, it's a touch screen. It, it's, a, it's a little tablet. We've talked about this many times. It's a touch screen. And she hovers with her whole hand above the touch screen, just her middle finger slightly like tilted forward. And when she lets out this guttural Chewbacca like sound, <laughs> And I wish she would have pressed the button earlier so it would have been recorded and all of you got to hear it. I tried to avoid that. But I had to hear it. Now it's in my head. There you go. That's what he's talking about. Now you all heard it. So are you happy now? Charming and so refined. <laughs> Hello, Snowy. Sorry, you had to see all of this. I just have a lot Sorry, of bloated you all had to see. You have blocked it sounds. Oh well, yeah, I don't know what that's called. I don't know the English word for it. But Snowy, happy Tuesday. How are you doing? <laughs> the epitome of elegance. I am it's... pure elegance. Yes, she is style. She is grace. And sometimes <laughs> air comes out of her face. <laughs> I'm gonna put on my tea. <laughs> yeah, please do that. It's a good thing we have all of them recorded. Like yeah. at some point during the sound check, we'll cut all of the sound checks together and make it a thing before stream, and then you can all suffer along with Jack. A super cut of Tifa's stomach making various sounds. Anyway, uh, <laughs> something. What do, you, what do you call it then, though? If it's not bloating sounds, like it's not burps. I have no idea. Maxure, we call it in Dutch. I have no Stomach idea. Stomach acids? Stomach acid songs. I I <laughs> it's the song of my people. <laughs> when do you do this song? I didn't even Digesting. do anything really. Digesting. <laughs> um, sometimes suffering together is better than suffering alone. Yes, yeah, sometimes. Not in this case. No, that's true. Jack was just complaining about my... I don't even know I what didn't. it's called in English, about my stomach sounds before the stream. Yes. Like it, I, like I said, it's not burping, but it's like, I call it stomach acids in Dutch. I have Tifa, no clue what to call it, but it's like air coming out of my mouth. Tifa is venting, basically. Oh, venting, we can now call it that. Venting is the word Evie. for Hello Evie, happy Tuesday. <laughs> I pronounce it epitome, not Epitome. Honest Psycho. If I could kiss you right now, I would. I'll just do this. I made. <laughs> da, now she didn't steal it. I maintain. I mean, there, there are many ways in which the English language is dumb. Not as many as the Dutch language. Excuse me. But the English has its <laughs> moments. Um, and the word epitome is part of that. It is spelled epitome. It should be epitome. Well, now it's epitome. It should not be epitome. Nothing about how that word is spelled makes the reader think, that's epitome. Isn't that what a lot of words do? Like Tifa? I don't know, you even made fun of me I... for that the other day with the Greek I... hero. <laughs> Moleculus? <laughs> Hercules. <laughs> My Moleculus. <laughs> Molecules. Yeah. You said Moleculus. <laughs> yeah, that's what yes, it's still funny to me. Uh, so I get it. And in, in, my, in my soul, it will always be epitome. 
but I've been corrected on this so many times that it's pronounced epitome that I have just started saying it correctly most of the time. How often do you say that? Given that you are the epitome of many things, surprisingly often. <laughs> yeah. Conform! <laughs> Obey! I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying at least with that. Sometimes you got a piss on your Kindle reader. <laughs> There's a real... Epitome. Yeah. That would wear more sense. Mm. Helps it charge. I say as I drink my cup of 12 hour old green tea, that is, please confirm it. The color of, um, you know, when you go pee, pee and, to me. and your body tells you you should be drinking more water, it's exactly that color. You can't see it because it's not a see through cup, but it, it is that color. Can confirm, but it's just green tea. That's an awful lot of detail. <laughs> when your Kindle congratulates on your baby. <laughs> that nobody needed to hear. That would be really cute, kind of. I think that would be adorable. But that means Jeff Bezos probably also knows. <laughs> Doesn't he already know everything? We are a little bit too far on the right side of the screen. You need to go a little bit left. I don't feel like I need to go left there. Thank you. That's much better. It matters to me. That, that, that like fracture of an inch moving on the screen makes all the difference to me. Thank you. I've oh, got cold yeah. hands, give me your cup. Oh, I'll, I'll make you some iced tea. Tifa, how was your day? Are you done with my cup now? No, how my was... hands are cold. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Here, take it back. No, keep it. Keep it. My day started off kinda shitty. I had a very crappy night to the point where I even called in sick today. Got a couple of hours more sleep in. Skill issue. <clears throat> it was definitely skill issue. I want to say that once was because you kicked me. I did not do any such thing. Like I think I woke up like every 15 minutes. I my alarm did not went off. Do any such thing. I kid you not, I could not get up. Can confirm because I tried to get her. It up. was so hard. Yeah. So I just called in sick, rolled around, got a couple of hours of sleep in. And it was like a long day still, but on the bright side... A long day of trying to get rest and sleeping. I can all confirm to you that karma exists. I can confirm it too, because after she pointed out to me, I cannot see anything else. And it's kind of funny. Some of you might remember on our destructive Sunday playing Pokemon, we talked about being ghosts and hunting people. No, only you. Also, no, no, no. haunting people, haunting not hunting pe people. I said haunting people. You said haunt. hunting. Haunt, like haunter. You oh. said hunt. <laughs> Honk. Honk. Why do you turn into a goose when you say it like that? Honk. No. The and word I is said haunting. I would haunt people. Same thing, really. It I really mean, is. Potato, potato. And but give him zits, but not in the face. Like everywhere else. And I kid you not. This morning. On the apex of your butt cheek. Oh, that's, a, that's a really annoying. If the one spot that you always sit on. That is really annoying. And then it's one yeah. of those super painful ones. Yes, but, <laughs> but <laughs> thank you. Regardless, I think you can even see it. I woke up with a massive bump in my neck. It's, it's, it's Visible if you sit next to. Stop okay. touching it's it. It's big enough that like half of my throat is swollen. Which is Stop touching of, it. And it might be because I've been messing with it for half the day, but still. You are aware. It was like kind of funny. Like looking at it now makes me happy because it makes me think of Sunday. And I literally just talked about this, and it's like, oh, what a coinky dink. So the thing is, my skin is really weird, and I have a feeling the reason why my skin is like feels at least like it's getting worse, my skin feels really tight right now, is because of you. Why? Because of me? My skin gets worse when you touch your face. Stop it. Do it for me. Well, you'll just have to live with it then. That ain't that living thing. it with... I've been living with it for 34 years. I need to change something. <laughs> and I, I've changed every single thing I can change that I'm aware of, so now I'm asking you for your assistance. Please help me. Stop touching your face. I will snip you. 
<laughs> but yeah, it really does suck. Itchy necks really suck. Yes. Yes, they do. It does. I had this, I, I shaved earlier today and I had this like one beard hair somewhere here that I went over it with a razor a million times, an electric thing. I, Sturdy. I couldn't get it. So I don't think the camera picks it up, but there's this one beard hair sticking out of my neck. But at some point my skin was getting so irritated. I was like, I can either basically cut my throat to get this one hair away or I'll just live with it. Could now I'll just live it. with it. Could have let me pluck it. Have you ever plucked a hair on your on your neck, on your throat? No, but I would have for you. I will not let you. <laughs> no, I think like based on what I have tried with it, I think the pain would be similar. Have you have any of you ever had a zit anywhere near your lips? Oh, those can be so painful. The kind that makes you go, no, this is 10 out of 10 pain. Break my arm, cut off my leg, it will not be as bad as this. I would imagine it would be something like that. So no, you will not be pulling out hairs out of my throat. I don't think so, especially like the area between your nose and your lips is like really sensitive. And I think connected the to your lip? ear ducts. No, above your upper lip. That's the nose. No. This part isn't like where the whiskers are with Gavin. That's not. This is not the upper lip, according to Tifa. I, yeah, I, I still have this thing. thing. Like you have your lip, your upper lip. Yes. And I think the thing above is not still called your upper lip. Don't make me look for a face. What's it called? For face. Layouts. What? Layouts. <laughs> I forgot that. Where am my phone is empty? I can't even Google it. What a shame. I'm quite sure that has its own name. I know what it's called. It's the taint of the face. It's like a lip cheek. It's the taint of the face. I don't think that's what it's called. It is now the taint of the face. <laughs> look it up, people. Actually, no, no. As long as you don't scratch it until you need a band-aid for a few days, totally not speaking of experience now. I think yeah, I've done that too before. We're already there. But that's Thankfully, a good idea. Maybe I should put a band-aid on it tomorrow. Thankfully, I've only done that like once in my life and learned from the experience, unlike this one who keeps doing it. Stop it. I can't say I do learn. But yeah, that's our Tuesday. I am uh, slightly more frazzled than I usually am um, trying to oversee that everything is running because we did the sound check today and everything worked. That was nice. And when Tifa went to make tea and then I wanted to start the stream and then OBS threw an error message, you don't have a graphics card. And I'm like, that, that's not the case. I took it. I. I, first of all, I would be shocked if you knew how to get the GPU out of a computer. <laughs> Not that you couldn't, but I would be shocked if you knew how from the top of your head, because I don't think you ever installed one. No. Exactly. I'll just take everything out. And then I turned off OBS and then I turned it back on, and then it worked. So that's good. There's something... Psych! You muted on people. <laughs> you... As I think everybody does when you do a stream years and years and years ago. Um, not recorded, actually. I think one of our earliest streams, we actually had the microphones muted for the first 30 minutes. That was a goofy game, I believe. Uh, Goof Troop. Goof Troop. Yeah, our very first OG test stream. Yeah, for the first 30, 45 minutes, the mic was muted. And I wanted to just sink into the ground and never appear. I think um, that's something that's happened to everybody Everybody yes. once in their early days. Yes, even later it, it can just happen. That, I mean, I that is one of the many reasons why I keep looking over here like, oh, our microphones are coming through. Good. Um, but I was going to say, uh, there has been throughout uh, Virtue's Last Reward some moments where a person, Tifa, claimed that I did not write down her predictions. Very I think true. we all remember that she might have brought that up once or twice <laughs> per minute per stream. Yeah, because you didn't. <laughs> and when I told Tifa, hey, how about we just do this digital? And she's like, no, I hate it. And then now I actually just set it up and I showed it to her and she was like, it's okay. 
So yeah, but uh, now you got a good solution. The solution it was at first. It was always the solution. Good one. No, that's not how you explained it at first. Your pitch was very different from the end result. Fair. My pitch sucked. The idea has always been bad. Anyway, I've set something up so that when we want to, we can all look at the prediction note things together. I'll show you later. I'm pretty sure it's gonna come up. But because I've never set something up like this in OBS, I'm also worried that that's gonna break. Potentially killing the stream right so in the we, middle. So before we actually like, play, we do it once, see if it kills the stream, because then we're not in the game. Yeah, but it can happen randomly whenever it gets triggered. So Yeah, but let's do a test first. Shortest stream ever. Click, <laughs> boom. Something like that. And then see how that goes. Well, in that case, Tifa... It's also gonna be all good today, I hope, because yesterday at Kitchen Out we had like eight internet outages. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. one after another, and then it was quiet for a bit, everything worked, and then bam, bam, Tifa, bam, bam. As I've just explained, I was already more anxious than usual about tech issues. Why did you have to remind me of that? Because now I went from like a, like a six to a seven. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can take your mind off of it with a recap. No, that makes it worse. Oh, well, then you did a recap. <laughs> no, <laughs> That's Tifa. That's even better for me. <laughs> <laughs> no. Tifa, please remind everybody and me what happened the last time we played Zero Escape, Zero Time Dilemma. The last time we played Zero Time Dilemma, which was last week, by the way, in case I'm forgetting things. It's Here at my long, favorite letter is X. It's been a long time, and yes. We streamed at my favorite letter is X. If you stall any harder, airplanes are gonna fall out of the sky. <laughs> so we started the game. <laughs> you said that. We once again are or woke up in the Nevada desert with a couple of known characters and unknown. But once again, we're nine people. We allegedly at the moment we are nine people. The people who are from the previous games who came back are Akane, um, Fai, I forgot main character's dude name now. Um, Junpei Tenmyuji. Junpei. I keep forgetting that's one person. And who else came back? There was one other person who we know. Sigma? Oh yeah, Sigma. Was there anything else from anyone else from the previous games? Yeah, zero. Yeah, that's not that's a new person that doesn't count anyway sigma so these are Fai, the... junpei and akane are here together with four other people five other people but you already had five. Oh yeah it's your pinky Fai, pinky. sigma junpei akane yeah i didn't see your pinky is all <laughs> the only thing <laughs> i'm missing here <laughs> carry on yes <laughs> so you don't remember the fan favorite, favorite from the first, first two games, games. Eric. Eric, a, Eric an apparently new dude. character who is immediately the most hated one. Really I wonder, dislikable. I wonder how I feel about him by the end of the game because so far they've done exactly zero to make me like him. He is annoying as hell. So far, yeah. We've also didn't have Eric. that much time with him yet. Regardless, and? we woke up in the cells. We'll get to the names later. We so we are cells. joined by Eric oh and Mira, who again. apparently have some sort of backstory. They are together in a group because out of the nine people, there's Skipping three the groups first. with three people each who were all in their own individual cells, which is kind of important, I guess. You're skipping the so first So Eric, ending. Mira, and a kid with this Q. Yoko Taro looking like ball kind of thing called Q, like walk maybe but we don't know good um junpei and akane are together with carlos exactly tifa <laughs> i don't remember the settings and junpei no wait i just said uh phi and sigma are joined by diana i believe i might be wrong about the carlos diana pairing no that actually yes. seems about right. diana looks pretty much exactly like luna did given differences in art style but anyway carry on so we we woke up in three groups of these three people each in three different cells in the same hallway when suddenly a person appeared 
Suddenly Zero showed up and wanted to do a bet with us. If we could guess the side of a coin he would throw, he would release us. If not, we would have to play a game with him. Funnily enough, Jack actually guessed right. We were then released, Zero is true to his word. And we were yeah. just basically dumped outside in the Nevada desert with... Everybody. With everybody, nothing to do, the end. And after 15 minutes, we had finished the game. Yeah, we had You wanted first. to assemble a bat? Yes, this is an <laughs> IKEA-sponsored stream. No, it's not, but it would be funny. Uh. So, of course, we went back, lost the bat, and went into what is now a killing game. No, the decision game. Which turns into a killing game. As the previous game had Ambedex games, this one has decision games. Basically, you vote which group you want to kill off. The, vote, the group with the most votes does get killed. Why do we need to kill people? I don't know, because that's part of the game. We need to kill people because, as Zero <laughs> explained, there is you do nine people in the group. And to leave the compound where we're all stuck, we need six passwords. We get one password each for every one person that ends up dead. True, true. Oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's kind of a... Do you mean that's it? That was the first 20 minutes of a the game. There were still two more hours. Carry on. There's a lot of confusing maps that we still need to get through. I think we kind of are through the intro, I'm not sure. Basically, we went through all of the parts where each team has died once because we get to play as so, every character. So, the gameplay in this game works different Why do you in even the let sense. Me if you're not, if you're just gonna continue. Don't make me mute you. You have to be this bad on purpose. You have so much. Not to boost Jack's ego, but you always guess the coin right on the first try, which I think is hilarious. Oh, really? No, other oh, people then don't. I take it Only back. me. Then Only... I take it back. No, the game made me feel special and you can't <laughs> take it away from me. I actually thought you guessed well. That I hurts. seriously thought. It hurts to know that. <laughs> I felt special. Okay, thank you. Now we know. Anyway. Whereas the previous two games had a singular story and one character we followed, this game is different in the, ca in the sense, not the case, that you have to play all three groups individually. Sometimes at the same point in time. So that's what we did. We played through the part of the game up until the first decision game with every group, the Q team, the D team named after Diana, and the C team named after Carlos, and Q after Q. Who is, by the way, the only person with memory loss? Yes. Everyone else still remembers. But he knows things about a serial murderer who killed 18 people. It's a bit weird. Um, while they were all like getting to know each other, AKA the individual team leader was asking questions about how the other two characters know each other, which also established that yes, Phi and Sigma are able to do the morphogenic field body consciousness travel thing. Which they have also told others about. Yes, they already told others. And Junpei and Akane do have backstory, which kind of retcons the part in Virtue's Last Reward where Tenmyuji said he's been looking for Akane all his life and couldn't find her. Not all his life, after the events that went down. Yes. So of course they know each other. Implied to be 999, which is retconned by this. All of this is important, I think. It's too much for a recap. Ah. You yeah. are too much for a recap. Keep going, keep going. After this, uh, C team decided, hey, can you stop making a... <laughs> I'm trying to. Yes, Judge Tifa. <laughs> I'm doing this because you suck. I'm trying to have a balance on my hair. Yeah. Give oh, no, 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 no. That's no. Carlos had the great idea. Hey, let's try to send a message to the other teams so that we all spread the vote. Because as Tifa did actually tell you, if two teams vote for one team, they get the most votes and then the entire team dies. And there was a dog, which we used to relay messages and to one another. And thankfully, their mascot uh, emotional support dog, Gab, I don't know, uh, an old Shiba apparently, uh, suddenly showed up. We put a little message around his neck and sent him to the other teams and 
we have seen five, four different endings, or four different variations of the story as it continues. No, three. Three versions in which each individual team dies because they got the most votes, and a fourth one in which nobody dies because we did manage to spread the votes. Well, if you don't remember, why are you interrupting? I don't think we ended with that one, did we? Yes, we did. Um, because I think this will also be important at some point. Yes, Tifa would like you to know just watch your previous video. That, that's the face you're giving. I'm just um, saying there's a lot of details in there that don't necessarily matter at this point. Outside of the recurring characters seemingly being the versions of the recurring characters that we've met, maybe, um, Mira is somehow interested in doing like this Mars exploration thing, which is what the Nevada test site is for. This is the part Everyone is interested. Virtuous Last Reward talked about, that people went there and then something went wrong. Everyone who is there signed up for this. Yes. Eric joined for some reason because of Mirror. Uh, Q has the memory loss, friends. but knows a lot about a serial murderer. I forgot the, the name they were given. Um, and Carlos, is or was a firefighter and Junpei hates him for some reason. Also they remembered that before they forgot they all knew each other as part of a program already and they shared information like Sigma telling them oh by the way I'm the 70 year old guy in the body of this super buff 20 something year old dude and I'm here from the future to try to save the world. Oh and, and Fire is my assistant. Something like that. Obviously, before Sai, Fi and Sigma died, they jumped. Yeah. Yes. Something like that. You're welcome for the recap, everybody. Was it a bit much? Yes, because I have to set up the story. Then we can make it shorter next time. So I'm going to press the button. Actually, I can't press the button. Thank yet. you. I appreciate that. Or is it <laughs> clapping? Yay, he's finally done. Uh. <laughs> The world may never know. One right. hour later. Go oh, fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> now, let me press this button. Are we ready? Uh, we yes, are we ready. are. Also, one last thing that's throwing me off. Oh, now you can first show the this. Thingy. This. Oh, the ticking. Yeah, we have it running in the game background, so you hate hear it. Clocks ticking. I'm like Captain Hook IRL. Ticking noises like this drive me nuts. But I have to set up a game before we go live so that everything works. Anyway, you ready for uh, technology? Go for it. Again, this might kill the stream. I hope it doesn't. Uh, first time we're trying this live. Well, Doo -doo. seems to be working so far. Ta-da! Yeah, it kind of works. You can see our digitally written down predictions. So if we want to add a new prediction besides the predictions we already made in the previous stream, which you already saw on the note, and the ones on our prediction bingo list, I'll write them down in the list, which gets synced with stream. Might take a minute though, so you won't see it like Second Life. And that way... Second Life? Yeah, this like is Twitch. Life, life. Suddenly, it takes a few minutes suddenly for you're in the metaverse. This is all It takes virtual a few minutes for the documents reality. to sync. So you don't see it as I'm typing, is what yeah, I'm it, saying. It, it's one note, people. It's it's not magic. It, it's one note. It's tech that exists. Um, yes. And Tifa will be typing those because, you know, that way there cannot be any. <laughs> uh huh. So yeah, we're going the digital route for now. <laughs> I'm not that mean, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> this time she didn't get to steal any. You ready? Yeah. So am I. Okay, but there's only, if we go back to the mapping thing, there's only one route down. No, there's, there's plenty yeah, of Yeah, but flow. from where we were, there's only one route down. So we could technically already start with half the, with three people dead, no? There is four outcomes of a first decision game and there's four branches in the story. I imagine to be able to play all of these, you have to have gotten these. 
this is what I was talking about. The game is actually super nice and as it tells you which outcomes you've got. Blue team dead, red team dead, green team dead, all of them survived. Yeah, because it's going to be a bit confusing. Oh, so each bulb here is... Probably one storyline, yes. Oh, like that. So now we first start in the one where everyone and survived. And I pray, by the way... Because that's the last one we did. That it doesn't branch out more. Because if it, it does, will. we will uh, need a bigger screen. I think it will. So, who do we continue with? I have no preference. C team is the most annoying one so far. No, Q team is. Uh, Carlos is still making up for the rest, if you ask me. What's wrong with Carlos? Wasn't he the compla or complaining one? No, that's Eric, who is on Q team. Oh yeah, that's Eric, not Carlos. Yes. Yeah. Imagine if I said during the recap, Eric, Mira and Q. Yeah, I already lost it. Q has two good arguments. There is some story involved in Q. All right, I see Horny wins. <laughs> Let's go with Q or Team Mira. There we go. Um, my question is, how do I know which which part I'm playing now? I guess I don't, and that's the point. Well, you can click on it, and then you see what you've already done. Because here I see Mira either sleeping or hurt. So, no, you don't see that. You only see the fragment of a flowchart, I guess, after you're done. Yeah, but you've got to play one of these, no? Because now you can jump into this. Yes, but I want to know where in the story this is. Yeah, you're not going to see that. Thank you. That, you need that to was do all of these for it to combine, I guess, until you continue. That was my question. Yeah, and that's not what I'm confirming. Game remembers the last choice you made. Yes, we learned this the hard way. Not the last outcome you saw, but the last choice yeah. you made. That's going to be important, I guess. I think it's going to be a while before we get used to this system. But yeah. we haven't seen all of it yet, so... Let's start here. I don't know where this is. Let's just get into it. I guess we're supposed to be confused. First come, first saved. Q. Alright. Let us out! Let us out of here! How long are you planning on doing that? Bang all you want, it won't open. That's what she said. Damn it. Just take a second, calm down. We need cool heads. I think his head is the last thing that's cool. That must be so warm. Maybe it has air conditioning. Sorry. Let's see if it works. know what that button does? Well, no, but maybe the door opens. Big T for energy. What's the worst that can happen? Going to push it though. It's the only yellow button. Yellow buttons are harmless. But he could have a very good point. We haven't heard anything from Zero. Just sitting around here is useless. Maybe just. You're the only one sitting though. They gave her these lines on purpose, right? What's wrong with these lines? Hey, Mira. Nothing. Just kidding. I'm not that reckless. Press the button. Don't scare me like that. Haha, <laughs> Lamau, we died. Much at all. We may be at the point of crazy decisions. The only thing we know for sure is what time it is. True, we have a wristwatch. Did you really not have pressed a button on the wall? Yeah, I wouldn't. When we really? Fall asleep in the lounge. So, uh... What's the worst that could happen? Four and a half hours? Death. Wow. You calculated From pressing the button. And at your age, even. That seems too boring to end. Call me a good boy. The same thing. Seems you still have that problem with numbers, Eric. I recall you having trouble calculating change when we first met. Hey, come on now. Is that how you two met? I want to hear. I want to hear. Yeah, my face has got to be all. I don't red. think it's Quark. Okay, backstory. I remember every detail. The fateful encounter was on a Monday. I hate Monday. The sky that morning in Nebraska was full of thick clouds, though the gloom cleared in an instant, like a miracle. And that's when, when I, I saw, saw her. her. Yeah. I always mustered up my best smile for customers, even the boring regulars I was tired of seeing. Sorry, I didn't have a budget to make you blush. <laughs> I was getting sick of it, though. I felt the blush. Oh, now, don't think it was we'll my blush for him. I was unsatisfied with. 
I really truly love ice cream. It Who doesn't? doesn't? Past, everything felt hollow. Who hates ice cream? Who doesn't like ice cream? Plenty of people, but still. It's kind of weird that Q wants to know the backstory of his bully. Yeah. I left that out because somebody was rushing me. Uh, Eric is a has acted like a complete asshole, especially to Q, uh, blaming him for everything. It's oh, like, are you wearing a mask? Q. You must be the yeah. one that kidnapped us. Oh, mm -hmm. you don't remember? Yeah. What you're doing? Oh, you must be. You you don't you have amnesia? Well, that's suspicious. I mean, Eric is uh, the worst kind of person to play Among Us with. As if there was a hole in my heart. But then she filled it. I thought it was just another normal day. I wasn't expecting the moment it changed. I couldn't believe my eyes. Mm -hmm. Ice cream. Mm. I didn't think such a beautiful sight existed in this world. What's it gonna be? Because it's not going to be a mirror. Isn't that why they're talking about what they're talking yes, about? Yes, but the beautiful sight is not going to be a mirror. What's he gonna talk about? I'm gonna stick to mirror for now. I say... Ice cream maker. I say it's a cat. He saw a cat. Go for it. <laughs> Simultaneously, so. you're the evil mastermind. You're just a stupid king. What do you know? Yes. <laughs> yes, exactly. Basically. Eric is there me. There was a lot of that. Eric is me with my hair-brained predictions and I now understand why people might find it annoying. <laughs> That won't stop me from making them, but still. I say it's a cat oh my God, the feelings that hit me. I never felt anything like that before. That was when I realized this this had to be a miracle. Mm -hmm. Mira entered my life. She was an angel that looked like a customer. Oh, I even dropped. Mic drop. Hairband drop. Told you. Do I get a point for that? This is you. Details aren't important. I don't understand. <laughs> well, I don't blame you. I he added. He added so many details in this story, though. Vivacious vision of beauty. Here we go. I was working. I was Mira walked in. Love at first sight. There you go. Can you tell that I'm the romantic one? Whenever you walked in, you were pretty. This was like so much. There were clouds in the sky. Some clouds were white. Some had a bit of purple, but they were all very thick. I remember like it was yesterday. As a matter of fact, it was yesterday. And then at some point, the sun started shining and it came through the clouds. Yes, Tiffin, until I met you, I felt like I was walking through the world in black and white and all sound was dulled. And I didn't get to see life for what it is until I met you. Can you say that with a straight face now? <laughs> like, no, <laughs> it's not possible. <laughs> I meant that, but sure. Sure. Hate on me. <sighs> that's that's you, very green. You, <laughs> you wouldn't know love if it shat in your face. That's so not true. Anyway, video games. I recognize games. the love of a cat, there was no way I of a puppy, of you. Video games. Good match. But then Mira. Cut it out. Me an angel? <laughs> you gotta be kidding. But it's true. You really are an angel to me, Mira. <laughs> The worst she can say is no. <laughs> it's like you're a completely different person now, Eric. Hey, you were kind of an ass before. Well, earlier you were being... Well, your face was pretty scary. Did I frighten you that much? Yeah. Oh. Gosh. I'm so sorry. Uh, Gosh. it's okay. You were probably just rattled about what's happened to us. I could tell you were a nice person under all that. <laughs> what are you? You're an odd. Wow. <laughs> wow. I was just looking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the expression again? I guess you calmed down, huh? Dopey? 
<laughs> Man, you're really harsh, Mira. But yeah, I'm okay now. But still, what is their relationship? So they're childhood he... friends. What? They're childhood friends. Didn't they already mention they knew each other from way back then? Didn't he just have this whole like uh, super sim thing where he worked in an ice cream place? Who said and it she... was in the summer job? Can you get your first job at like 11? What? I know the American like work is market is different, but not that much. <laughs> I'm just saying it doesn't need to be last week or something. Because I'm quite sure they already mentioned they go way back. Did you also get the feeling from this scene that he is in love with her when she walked into the ice cream store he worked at? Because Tifa is either playing a different game or I'm I'm not saying that's not the else. case. I think they were already adults. I'm just saying they don't yes. need to be adults. So I think we had this discussion before. I had my first job when I was 12. First of all, that's still illegal even back then. Second of all... Well, now it's more illegal, but still. How often have you listened to a story like theirs and your first thought was like, oh yeah, child labor. That's what the moral of the story is. Yeah, because in the previous thing we they were talking last week, they were like, oh, we know each other from way back. Yes, but you don't know how long... But they could be 30, we also don't know how old they are, even if it's 10 years ago, 15 years ago, or more for genetic fields. Exactly, Mame. Hello, Mame. How are you doing? Happy Tuesday. Tifa is just killing me today. That's right. I'm fine. That okay. looks so creepy. Smile no matter what. So normally he's nice, but he can also act like a complete asshole. Okay. I mean, it's kind of understandable though, like you would probably be way worse if you were locked up in the situation. Us up in here anyway. Yes, yes it would be. And you would not be helpful. <laughs> no, but I would not be him. Maybe all of this is supposed to be part of the GCOM experiment? They wanted to investigate how a closed space affected change on emotions, right? But then why did they want normal people like us to apply? Also, would you want them to feel like they're helpful under so much ours? threat? Like military officials, researchers, other skilled professionals like that. Maybe the reason they chose civilian subjects is because they're planning to send those kinds of people to Mars. And oh, so wait, this is after no one died, right? That sounds right. We don't know. Strangers living together on Mars for an extended period of time. What kind of or after the first voting, at least. That a we do know. After the first vote, we don't know in what outcome. Yeah, okay. All we know that in this timeline, or this part of the story, in this timeline, four and a half hours have passed since the vote. That's the only clue we're given. Yeah, okay. Fair, fair. Eric is the super high school level worthless person. Yes. Yes. At the moment, yeah. He might also be super high school level simp. He, it might still get better though, like especially seeing how they're just thrown in this situation, they're confused and willing to still look past all of this, but there needs to be some improvement. Let's What's see the... about that. How would the subjects figure out solutions to the resulting troublesome situations? According to the DCOM staff, that's what the experiment was trying to determine. Like the chair-bound old man. They put us in a difficult position on purpose to observe how we'd get out. Chair-bound old man? The is a civilian organization that hopes to expand business worldwide. Maybe they expect to be part of a colonization of Mars in the future. Colonizing Mars? Hey, have you ever heard this before? If you want to transport live koi from Brazil to Japan, putting only koi fish in an aquarium will result in most of them dying. What? But by adding something to that same container, you won't lose a single one. What is it? A piranha. A piranha? Is that an actual thing? Does that even work? Do I have to Google that? I guess their self-preservation instincts kick in. I get it. 
Like, I somehow doubt that. I become so afraid of the piranha that they make an effort to live. That nervous what? state becomes the power to keep them alive. Can you, you look that up, please? Survival mode. Actually. I'm, I'm gonna Google piranha, koi fish. Let us check first. Yeah, right. You don't look it up in case this is a zero escape kind of thing and it leads to spoilers. Thank you, Modena. Alright. Yeah. Nope, I looked it up. Nope, it's not a real thing? It's not, yeah. Okay. Thank like, you. I have never heard of. Why would you even risk your. Some koi fish are expensive. Like yeah, your $2,000 really koi fish putting it in a thing with piranhas that can eat. Fish. Um, I have a feeling that there's something about Mira uh, that makes her really, really good at debate. Mm. And she has a lot of charisma. Um. <laughs> so does I make it the fuck up? But yeah. I do get like the moral of the story, though. It's about having your survival instinct. Usually, if you come up with a story or a metaphor or whatever, you use it in a way that makes sense. You don't just randomly make up a thing. I mean, I agree. But like I said, I do understand what they're saying. So Mir in that regard, it's successful. No, it's not. Mira's argument is the, the problem on the anonymous part of the internet. Somebody says something and then you ask, okay, where do you have that from? And they go, oh, just believe me. Sauce, I just know, bro. No. Facts need to be checked. Why do you... It's a game. What facts do you need to check Literally here? Literally, the first side was a game FAQ's discussion about this game. <laughs> it's an old wives tale that isn't actually true, okay? Like, okay. peeing on a jellyfish thing makes it worse, actually. So I should stop peeing on jellyfish? <laughs> I always pee on the jellyfish so that when it stings people, it already hurts less. That way I don't need to pee on people. Hmm. Keep it in mind. I've never been stung by a jellyfish, fortunately. Yet. Yet. It, it's Tifa. It, it's just a matter of time, people. I have touched, like, jellyfish before, but nothing happened. See? What? Which part Which of the jellyfish Probably because they were, like, dead. You know, the ones that washed ashore. Maybe some jellyfish like it. Not gonna catch you. <laughs> I always ask for consent of a jellyfish. Jellyfish like golden showers. And this, that's a hurtful stereotype. Why are you perpetuating that on the internet? <laughs> I'm, I'm apologizing for her. And the second was a video, a video, a video called Piranha vs. Koi Fish Beast Mode Life Feeding. Why would you even... I hate those videos. Feed koi fish to piranhas. Because you want your piranhas to eat something worth a lot of money? It's like a delicacy. Basically. Like a gourmet meal. I don't know. I've never eaten koi and I don't think I ever will. I don't think people really eat koi. I'm pretty sure people eat everything. Is koi, do people eat koi fish? Koi people fish eat is everything, like... Tifa. I mean, yeah, but koi fish is not like people on People your... eat people for fuck's sake. On your normal restaurant menu, even. I don't think anybody goes out and goes, hmm. I am uh, somewhat peckish. Today I I wish to consume copious amounts of koi fish. It's more like, oh, I, I need food. I'm going to a body of water and the first thing I find is koi. I'm not going to go, oh no, I, I need to find a more uh, morally understandable version of fish I can eat. Fuck it, I'm hungry. I'm going to Google at least, can you eat koi fish? Can you yeah, please do eat... That. It's not about the money, it's about the message. Oh, okay. Feeds quite a bit. <laughs> Please don't do that. Switch cards are made to taste terrible for a reason. Yes, because children put them in their mouth. Koi fish are essentially just colored carp. So the answer to the question is, can you eat koi fish? Is yes, you can eat koi fish. Whether you should is a different question. Jack, you literally just described every Saturday evening. <laughs> That's okay. You do you. Um, I won't join you on the journey, but um, more for you, I guess. Not just children. Why do people put game cartridges in their mouth? Actually, I, I don't think I Isn't want to. Isn't everyone at least once? No. Nah. So a picture of a guy with a switch card on his tongue because he was curious. I mean, if you read those things, you kind of want to know. No. 
No? No. I also don't need to lick a tire. I mean, I haven't felt the need to do so because I'm also not too curious about these kind of flavors. I've never felt the desire to try to eat dog shit. I mean, no. There are certain things where I look at them like, yeah, this this is not for ingestion. <laughs> yeah, but with some things. No. Like when, with certain paintings, you want to know. Paintings? Paintings, two words. Like with electrocuting yourself on a barbed wire or hitting something. Like we are you want talking to, you about want to know. food and yes, taste. Yes, but I'm, I'm comparing it. Like with those things, you might what? be curious. I'm, co I'm comparing what? it <laughs> like with some of those things. You might have the curiosity and then you want to go do it. And then with other things like Gotta with taste, Mona Lisa, B -B. you also want to know what it tastes like. So you get curious. It's the same sort of thing with different items. We made it. <laughs> oh, I'm not a barbed wire. You know those barbed electric fences? Yeah, those things. <laughs> we made it. 59 minutes into the stream, including the opening reel. I was Until talking, you completely escalated everything. I was talking about those fences that are around like an sheep enclosures. Fence. Yes, an electric, an electric fence. fence. That's what. <laughs> That's worse, Steve. That is actually not that bad. Like I accidentally touched it last year, and then again when I sneezed. <laughs> <laughs> into the fence, but regardless. Reminder: like, I've always wanted to do that. Tifa kneeled in front of a fence that happened to be electrified, and stopped touching the cable. And there was a little goat coming her when she was trying to feed it grass. In the procedure, she touched the wire, and she fell backwards, making the following sound. And I can repeat that because it's easy to do. <clears throat> Wee. <laughs> This, this is not a joke. That's the sound she made. <laughs> we um, don't do it, people. Don't do it. Usually, it's not a we thing. It's more like a holy fucking goddamn. What did I do? Yeah, but that's not the point I was trying to make. But we that's were... the point where we ended up. No, but we were talking about people. You not understanding why people want to like eat things, but it's the same with like that. So I can fully understand it. At what point are scientists gonna enter the stream and ask if they can have her brain for like science? <laughs> now we know Tifa's on a ground type. Nope. Fairy, actually. <laughs> you gotta give her this electrified wire sounds better than electrified barbed wire. Not by a lot, but it's better. Debatable, I was going to say. Don't do Debatable. it at home regardless, but still. Don't but do it that, anywhere! That is, that is not the point I was trying Who to make. Who do you think has electric wiring? Why are we stuck on the electric, electric wire? fencing in we their were, apartments? We were talking about tasting things or wanting to taste weird things. It's the same kind of weird curiosity. It's the, like a what if. I'm gonna press this button. I'm gonna pretend none of this ever happened. Exactly, Tifa. Thank you! No, that's why we are talking about you like this. <laughs> We were talking about food. Yes, Tifa. Speaking Every time of... Tifa speaks, red flags wave everywhere. <laughs> Speaking of licking the Mona Lisa, though, I'm quite sure at this point she would actually the painting would actually taste quite nice because, funnily enough, like two days ago, I saw I think it was an old video about activists throwing soup at the Mona Lisa, mm. having that flavor seep in. You are aware that the Mona Lisa and other paintings like it are not just out in the open, but behind cover. So the Mo I don't, f I've, I haven't read the article, but huh. I don't think the Mona Lisa has been hit with soup or whatever it was. So they've thrown it at the painting. If there was something in front of it, it's also not the point. But how would... You're ruining my joke here. I even some... Yes. <laughs> Yes, she's high on life. We we weren't talking about licking the Mona Lisa. There was like one comment about And I that. went into the comment. So now we can all blame Honest Psycho. There you go. <laughs> and not Tifa for the things she says. I'm glad we can agree on that. Can I please press the control button so that the game continues? 
<laughs> okay, everyone, let's do this together. Take a deep breath with me. I love video games. Uh huh. Where were we? In order to survive, you need that sense of urgency. I had a koi fish. I see. Shut the fuck up. So for an actual Mars mission, <laughs> it'd be a good idea to have a murderer on the crew, huh? I believe this game was written by Japanese people, but it's set in America. And I assume Eric and Mira are supposed to be Americans. But is there anywhere in the world where you would say a sentence like this and not realize while you're saying it, it's like, that's weird. Why is it weird? <laughs> Are you trying? <laughs> I was like, right now. He's commenting on the situation. I'm saying, I'm saying, you, you have lost your memories. You wake up, this weirdo, in this um, plague doctor mask shows up and goes full mm -hmm. saw on you. I want to play a game with you. Oh, we completely forgot the you most important out. things. You get knocked out. Then you wake up four and a half hours later after you do a vote about people that you only have these super vague memories about and you, you begin to try to rationalize why is this happening because you want to understand. I get that. But when somebody goes, if you want to prepare for a high-stress situation like colonizing Mars, don't you think it would be good training to have a murderer in the group? And you go, of course. Yeah, but it could be like all staged no. to have you go through that stress level. Eric, I, don't, I don't see. What Eric is saying is that NASA, NASA, how do you pronounce it in English? NASA and all of these other space-faring places should for their training be among us in real life. You would think NASA, NASA, whatever, would weed out murderers beforehand. Yes. Yes. Well, unfortunately, we have Mira, who I am still quite sure is the serial killer. Report. Yes. <laughs> That's what the yellow button is for. I think we should just press it. Kidding. <laughs> Nobody laughed. Don't say scary things like that. Oh, so maybe all this stuff is something similar. <laughs> okay, turn that to unless it's been watching this right. boring, so the emotional state will fade. What the fuck? If you intentionally inject a sense of emergency... It's the koi fish piranha thing. ...and now announce the voting results. All three groups have voted for different teams. The missing spice of life was murder. Okay. Now we know that. Oh, And that's the end of... Oh, maybe not. The other two teams are listening to a message just like this one. But not to this message. What? The construction of all of them are the same. A yellow button exists on the wall in each. Pressing it activates the showers in the other wards, and they will rain down a solution of hydrogen fluoride. <laughs> No! I don't know anything even. about chemistry. What? Oh! Okay. That's fucked up. It probably wasn't even active before. Okay. 
one final thing to die. The early bird gets the wire. After the first team pushes it, the button will become inactive for both of the other teams. Your time limit is three minutes. What will you do? But wait, That's you die up. if you stand under it. <laughs> no, T. If you're in the room, you will die. Okay, so it's also like gases. I think Escaping. The, the chemicals will come from everywhere. But he only said the showers. Who explains this to her? Well, so, that's what I'm saying. So it's also like gases or sprinklers. So you think the story now splits with a question whether the people who press the button wait long enough for the other teams to climb on top of the <laughs> things like that. monkeys. <laughs> I did not say that. I'm just trying to figure out how the stuff that comes out of the sprinklers works. What do you get when you put Mira and Eric together? Um, Erica and America. <laughs> I tried to put them together as one joke, but it didn't work out. Um, it does actually work. It was probably a joke, but now I can't get that out of my head. <laughs> Thanks, Snowy. I, I feel. Do we still have those aluminium hats we made from back when? Um, no, we threw them somewhere. away. I need to remake them. I feel like I do. Mm. The visual novels gave me the other before I was going. Okay, but wait, we should talk about strategy already, by the way. No. Do we want to try to end up with the neutral route every time? All of them. Yeah, but if we do it, we must end with one for a specific line. All of them. So do we want to do where everyone possibly survives, like last? Oh, we gotta I hurry don't know. Or we'll die! I have no idea. Because I also don't want to keep redoing them to end up with one for a route. The others, you say? What the hell do you know? What? And he's back. There he goes again. Oh, oh, Q. Uh, wait, I, I, can I do an Eric voice? No, I don't. Oh, Q. I scared you earlier when I went full on unprompted bully on you. Oh, I'm so sorry. Let, let me talk about this girl over there. She has big tits, and I like her. And that's really all you know about me. Oh, danger? Kill! Kill! Give me something. Give me a reason to like Eric. I hope she hit it. That was Mira, yeah. Mira? Right in. Oh, thankfully. Even better. The rest of this up to you. Huh? It'll be interesting to see how you handle this. Q is party leader. What? Okay, I think Mira is the killer at this point. She is acting very... Um, how hey, should I say? There's a timer. She is very sympathetic wait, wait, wait. to the cause Press of murders. We want to go for no killing, right? Whoops, I clicked. Or press the timer, press the button. Wasn't a yellow button earlier? Yeah, now you pressed it, so it's red. Oh. I, I, I just dissolved six people in acid. Did you push the button? Does this mean we're going to be saved? But then, the others will. You, you killed them. Is this guy for real? Is he now mad that he didn't get to push the murder button? That's not what he's saying at all. Then what? Okay, since you are the he's Eric just, Whisperer... He's just accusing him of killing the others. Obviously, Eric wasn't gonna press him and now he's like, oh, you What do you mean him. Eric wasn't gonna press him? He full-on attacked Q! Yeah, but he wasn't... Obviously, based on his reaction, reaction, he wasn't gonna press the button and now he's accusing Q of actually pressing the button and killing the others. What do you it's mean he wasn't like, gonna press... Why did you he fight the kid? I wanted to kill them. He did not say that at all. Eric is the... Eric is the little kid in a bus or train that wants to press the button so that the door goes open. No, he's not. Except the button is murder. 
No, it's not. Where do you get this from? Are we playing the same game? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering now too. Like, there's nothing here that says that. Or that even implies that. People, please help me. Which one of us is the weird one? Like, in this case, it's obviously you. What makes you think here that Eric is the one that wanted to press the button? He ran towards the wall with a button. He grabbed Q, telling the kid to get away because the kid was like, no, we have to trust you. He's like, no, fuck you, kid. I hate you. I'm going to press a button. Fuck trusting other people. Mira had to knock him out. That's why she went for... Yeah, I'm f I fully agree that Eric, Eric is unhinged, but in this situation, I don't think it's what you're saying. He got knocked out when he wanted to go for like Nazi dissolving people in showers and now he wakes up after the fact, learns that somebody else pressed the button and then goes full on the hypocrite and goes, you, 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 you killed them, you murderer, go fuck yourself. But obviously he's gonna have some double personality thing that's going on Do you on think with that's him? gonna be the thing? That's that he has like thing. multiple personality disorder or whatever? I would think so. Or like he, he's bipolar and he doesn't get medication. That's why he's like flip-flopping like all over his emotions. That could he's be, super angry, super lovey-dovey, super dopey. He's just everything and just but randomly. this was not a you killed them, I wanted to kill them. This is a... No, that part was the joke. Him. That part was oh, the joke. Thank you for I, joining the conversation. That's what I started this in. And then you were like, oh no, that's absolutely what it is. You got it, right? <laughs> it's just weird today. Uh, uh, Tifa today. <laughs> I, I was reading the Tifa is weird. It's just <laughs> weird. Eric is unhinged and Tifa sees... Yeah. I, but there's definitely something wrong with him, but it's not <laughs> the thing you said. Eric is cringe. Murder is cool. <laughs> Hollow Knight Mac Roundface? I've never played Hollow Knight. Same. Is the voice actor in Hollow Knight? I don't know whether. He's too well, cringe for one single person. If they go with he has something going on that explains why he is like jumping from one extreme to the other, cool. But I need that soon because he is becoming irredeemable. Well, let's see where he's gonna go. C team and D team are gonna. No, we did. We had to do this so we could survive. And now watch, if she does it, it's okay. But... It's not my fault! I told you from the start not to push it! See? This Eric didn't want to push it. So he's going with the you killed them. My hands are clean. He told the kid not to push the button because they didn't know what the button was for. Then they had the whole speech from zero. Press the button to kill six people and be free. And he was like, yeah, I'm going to press the button. Please. I I think it's going to make sense if you let him finish talking. I'm going to press the button. What? What are you talking about? Yes, Tifa. It was obvious you were planning on pressing it. Yes, Tifa. You actually did. <laughs> okay. You pushed it. A wise decision. This, <laughs> this is arguments with Tifa in a nutshell. I didn't know they made a video game about arguments with her. Yeah, yeah, this, this is my life. I mean, not what's happening here, but like, you get it. <laughs> you get a point. <sighs> the character with a mask thing looks like the main character of Holland. I haven't played Diva. Oh, oh, yeah, okay. a little bit. Okay, now I get it. Is it gaslighting if a person doesn't know it himself? Um, I would argue yes, because it, it's also murder if you kill somebody and you don't know. I, I mean, legally it might not be, but ultimately the person is still dead. So. You sacrificed the life in order to continue your own survival. Zero. But were we the first ones? Legally, okay, thanks. I mean, yeah, it's a kill or be guilty. Makes sense. Why? Nineteen twenty-nine. 
No, no, I didn't do it. He's the one who pushed it, so he's... <laughs> Write that down. The serial murderer is Eric. And he has uh, multiple personality disorder. Well, that we already... Mira acts search. like she's the serial killer because she knows it's Eric. Uh, what's the shortcut for that? I'll just write it up. MPD? Multiple person... Yeah, MPD, I think. Well, we understand what it means. <laughs> Zero Saul Goodman confirmed. I guess this game. But I already told you, I, I didn't kill anybody. I was only watching. God, I was just watching. No. Yeah, it's him. He's losing it. Wrong. I was the one who. Mm -hmm. Please forgive him, Dad. Cold. It's cold. Okay, so he so, so cold. has some kind of trauma. Mom. I feel bad triggered. for him, but if I'm in the room with him, just just knock me out first, please. <laughs> All right, I say go back to Q team. Do you think Gap is his? Like emotional support animal? No. Why not? I don't think Gap is his. Gap was already there when they arrived, if I recall correctly. As far as they remember. But when we first saw Gap, the dog also had this thing around its, like in its collar. And Carlos commented that that is usually something to transport medication. Yeah, but I don't think he was for Eric. And I wouldn't be shocked if somebody who has apparently gone through really fucked up traumatic shit like Eric has, seemingly, is taking medication. I get that, but I don't think Gap is his. Write it down. That Gap is his talk? Oh! Oh my god! This doesn't mean that Gap it is does Eric's! Get wrecked, That Tifa. has Write nothing to do with Gap is Eric's. This just means that we're gonna get another thing where we send messages to one another and Gap is somehow contained. I can't hear you over how right I am. Here, write I'll it write down. it down for you. So Gap is Eric's support animal. Gap is Eric's dog. <laughs> That's the very short version, yes. Yeah, why should I make the messages longer? <laughs> like that is so you. <laughs> why use many letter if less letter <laughs> work? <Short> letter. <laughs> My favorite letter is no, don't, short. Don't do this one. Why? Should we first do the other route now? I can't go back. Oh, okay. What are you talking about? We are locked in now. There. We're here. Oh, okay. If we go with Q team, do you see any other choices? Yeah, but I thought you like clicked into no, it there. again. We're, we're locked in. Yeah, that's okay. That's all I was, all I was asking. Now watch this. Jump to here. Yes. What do we do if it's already debunked? Put an X behind it. You are debunked. Okay. Uh, uh, where? Are we? I think it's the decontamination room. No. Decontamination. Uh, See, they're put under the showers. Trapped in this room before. Is it just deja vu? <sighs> I have a bad feeling. This is how they get killed. You're not I told gonna you. make us watch them get dissolved in acid. I told you. They have to be under the shower. No, no, that's not how it works. You feel it as well? Yeah, not just her. I sense it too. Somehow, this button is very important. Unfortunately, peanut butter. Maybe we lost our memories of it. The drugs. In the bracelets. Then, what in the world? I don't want to watch people meld. Wait. Oh, you can't pass this. No, it's a cutscene. We messed scene. something up. 
Oh, fucking hell, dude. What are you covering your eyes for? Because this is fucked up, Tifa. This is what people do when they see fucked up things. They I mean, react I, to I it. I mean, I agree, but it's not like they're zooming in on it. <laughs> Tifa, why don't you want to watch people get dissolved in acid? The off. Okay, now you can close your eyes. Poop Lord, long time no see. How are you doing? Happy New Year, how are you doing? You need your Happy New Year. Jack's right about that. <laughs> no, it's the idea. It's the idea. Jack said fuck in my phone first. Fuck. <laughs> This is... The hey, they're alive. Uh, what happened in the decontamination room? It would be inconvenient if you forgot the cause of the deaths of our ancestors. But we... I think we need... Do you remember at what time we pressed the button? 18... Uh, 1929. Because there was a timer before you pressed it. Yes, 10 seconds. Which means if we swap to one of the other groups, that will probably also be important on who pressed the button first and which ending we will see. Like Stop if we swearing, Jack. Please, I fucking beg you. What? <laughs> Every time you say it, it's phone freezes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> PG-13. Frig. Heck. No, but seeing how last inputs are important. Yes. If now... We swap to another team, and I yes. think if we press the button later than they did, I don't think it doesn't register. I think I get what you're saying. I don't think we're gonna do it like this because that means if you play often enough and you click fast enough, you make it impossible to get another ending. Because if you click the same frame the timer starts, you cannot click it faster. Ow. That is also true. I think it's just a matter of whether you click or not and it's implied that everybody else either did it later or not. But why would you add a timer then? Stress factor? Yes. Okay, fair enough. Same reason why we need a murderer in the group. That's right. I... That button... Not Success. The current casualties. We win the game. Carlos, Akane, Junpei... I mean, this was a short... Sigma. These six are now deceased. As a result, six X passes will be revealed. My least favorite letter is X passes. Quark. Mom. Dear. Arm. That is all. So we have Quark back. It's a lie. Everyone. Everyone. Junpei, Sigma. We have characters from the previous games back, including Junpei and Sigma. Junpei, Akane, Sigma and Fai. Oh no, I... Then the other teams. Done. No need to blame yourself. All you did was make the right choice. Her eyes look so freaking creepy. All of them kind of do though, but that's also the animation. We have six passwords, so can't we leave? And one of the passwords is Quark. I uh, yeah. overreacted a, a bit, but you know, maybe it's it's better this way. Somehow the way Jack says for certain words uses I, too much of my phone's processor. I know we're all in danger from this game, but instead of being forced to kill each other... Your phone other, is on safety mode. It's just a vote and a press of a button. Yeah. Plus, we're just put to sleep after. So to suddenly learn the whole thing is over? Is he now sad that he... What if it's not just that? The amnesia drugs in the bracelets. Maybe we didn't get injected this time, but what if every time we wake up, we have to go through the same scenario over and over again? and we're put to sleep after each one. Our memories of it, gone. <laughs> Man, like, the fuck did you just say? need to talk about this. What? Let's just get out of here. I mean, you're gonna get into this He's with crazy. loop at some point. Let's 
Wait. Are we forgetting someone? Cap. I mean, the, the amnesia drug thing is very much like uh, you keep resetting the game so that you can recycle it. No, I don't know. But who chained Cap? Zero. That's so mean. Why in the... Let's see if we can get it off. It's very sweet that they went back for Gap, though. Yeah. Hey, about before... You were saying we're repeating our actions with no memories. It's like the Sleeping Beauty problem. The Sleeping Beauty what? That, that's exactly what I was going to say, actually. <laughs> I thought you were going to explain it. <laughs> it. No. Woman, you have a zipper for a reason, for fuck's sake. But if she used it, I wouldn't know where to look when she's on screen. <laughs> this way we can keep eye contact. Oh, paradoxes. We're good at solving those. Starts on a Sunday. Okay. The subject is also, there's no way that closes. And then a coin is yeah, unlikely. If it's heads, the subject is woken up on Monday. Asked a question and put to sleep again. And that's it. That's all they do for heads. And if it's tails? They're woken up on Monday, asked a question. Why are they banned? Oh, wait, I want the poll. Okay. But that's just the same as heads. To that point, it is. But it's different after that. After the subject falls asleep again, their memories from Monday are erased. They are then asked the same question again on Tuesday. What's the question? What was the probability it was heads? That's it? Yep, that's it. Hey, how is that a problem then? 50%. There's a 50% <laughs> chance of it being heads. Except it isn't. I think so, normally. Uh, but when you're being asked it, there are three positions you could be in. Sabes, how are you doing? Was heads. It is Monday. The coin was tails. It is Monday. And the coin was tails. It is Tuesday. That would make the probability okay. of it being heads as one in three, right? I'm slightly confused there. Yes. But then again, they get to decide what is what. But wait. It, doesn't that get infinitely more complex by... You don't just do this experiment once, right? You do this over multiple iterations. If you flip one coin once, the outcome is 50-50, right? Mm. But if you flip a coin twice, the chance of it being heads or tails twice in a row is different. Is it? Yes. The chance of it being the same every single time gets smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. Don't ask me. For every individual coin toss, it's 50-50. But if I tell you, you have to flip a coin and get it to heads 10 times in a row, that's not 50-50. Oh, like that. Yeah, okay, okay. Fair. That's way, way lower. It's a fucking Monty Hall problem all over again. Something like that. I don't want to talk about math. Do no, I hate maths. We've had enough math. Maths is an asshole. <laughs> I don't think so. It's a coin, so it'll always be 50-50 odds, no matter what. Except for most of my math classes, I can tell you Eric is wrong. Well, now we get into the explanation. It's the same as before. But if it's tails, it ends up repeating 10,000 times. 10,000? Wake question sleep memory erased wake question sleep memory erased go through this 10,000 times does the probability still stay as 50 50 after all that no could have just pressing <sighs> thinking about it wouldn't the chances of it being tails be higher than heads if you put it that way yeah but you can calculate that. I mean, I don't have a mental capacity to do that. I just that. said I don't want to talk about math. I, I don't want to, but I want to talk about the fact that you can literally put this on a piece of paper and figure it out. Well, they have no paper. You could ask a computer, hey, what is the chance? They also don't have that. 
They have a chain dock. So, hmm. Which one is correct? It's a paradox, Eric. They don't have an answer yet. Even the scientists can't decide between one in two and one in three. No, no, please. No, for real? Is, is this a real thing? Scientists don't know the difference between 50% and one third? What? No, they can't agree if what the chances are. It's a paradox. It's an ex it's a thought experiment. Of course not. Because Besides, haven't we already learned that you have to take some of the info in this game with a grain of salt? One coin toss being heads is 50-50. Another coin toss being heads is also 50-50. Two consecutive coin tosses both being heads is 25 out of 75. It makes sense. And then it keeps sorry. halving. I'll be yawning a few times. Stop take yawning. Take a short break after this. It's an unsolved problem. What's the chance Tifa's gonna yawn again? Hi. <laughs> you know uh, a lot about this. 9010. I read a random book on it once. Yeah, of course you have. Well, it was on metempsychosis, but... Books about coin tosses are my favorite. It was on what? Metempsychosis? What is it? Wouldn't waking up without your memories be just like being reborn? Not exactly. Oh. A little bit. That sounds similar. Get your shit together. If you have zero memories, I'm, not really I'm quite sure. sure you will turn into a different person than you were before. But I'm not being born again. No, but I would see that as a metaphorical thing. Okay, which language do I speak? That depends on how far your memory no. loss no, goes. No, 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 no. Is it Let, like... Let's play this through. I wake up without memories. What language do I speak? That's why I'm saying that depends on how far your memory loss goes. No Either language. You exactly. Speak nothing, or you still remember language. I mean, no people language. People have woken up with memory okay. loss and still knew their language. Then it's not full memory loss, I guess. That's what I'm saying. Do I know how to move? That is the question. Okay. Um, Either it's complete 100% memory loss and you don't know all of these things, you need to relearn how to eat, how to move, how to talk, or it's more like you just forgot everything you are, but you do still know these basics, which is what okay. their goal is. Assuming that I need to relearn literally everything, then I'm still not a new reborn person because I'm still in a body that is not freshly born. Yes, but you will turn into a different version of you and in that regard, you can say you are reborn. Every day. Which is day, what they're going for, I think. Every day you turn into a new version of yourself. That's very deep, but that's not. Because we all change. Well, that is so very different though, like a change that happens in a day, in two days, slowly over time, or like your Eric here, who turns from psycho to calm nice guy in two seconds. Like if you have the complete memory wiped, but yes, you do still know how to talk and how to move, you start doing different things, you start getting new friends, you start experiencing new things, you will turn into a different person. Potentially, yes. And in that regard, you are reborn as a new person. It's about what they're going for here in the story. Then you don't use the word reborn. Consider it reborn. No. You mean memory loss, like back to infant? Basically, you wake up and all you know is that like, you have your senses. You, you have you, cases you can, where... You, cannot, you can make sounds, but you cannot speak. You literally forget You cannot things. communicate. You, you don't know how to walk because, I mean, you, you have muscles for it, but you don't know how to walk because you have lost all memories. It's something you were taught at some point. Which is pretty hard because I, I don't know about that, but um, doesn't memory loss usually only apply like knowledge, like learned things? And I would not say it depends muscle on the part memory? of your brain. No, muscle memory. I'm talking. Because if I recall correctly, I learned about this once in school. Muscle memory is stored not in your brain necessarily. It is stored in your in the rest of your body. Like somewhere in your body there's there's this like little bulb, a synapse or whatever it's called, that has stored the information this for you. on how to do 
I don't know, a twirl or something. If you've done that plenty enough and you've made that a muscle memory. Memories you make literally require the rewire the neuron pathways in your brain. So stuff like habits, muscle memory, etc. still persists. Good point. Um, because like Evie said, the body is a biological machine. So if the pathways are still there, you might not be able to access the memories, but the physical foundation of them still exists, right? Unless it also like for lack of a better term, bulldozes all of your pathways. Well, if your memory loss also comes with, with brain damage, then yes, that can actually okay. happen. I don't think that's the point of this paradox. We need... But, yeah. We could have just pressed A and probably already figured out what it is, but... I would, but you're playing with your phone. We need... I'm looking up these things for you so that you don't need to wonder nah, about Tifa, this for two Tifa hours. I was looking up werewolf smut. <laughs> <laughs> Busted. <laughs> we, we need Makise Kurisu? I, I don't know what that is. I'm Let's find out. There's no real meaning. Oh, sounds like Tifa. I know, right? When you're reborn, all the memories you had during your past life are already gone, right? Well, that means metempsychosis isn't really needed. If there's... Real quick, sorry. So why are we pausing to get the dog loose? Metempsychosis sounds like the mispronounced version of a Marvel character. There's no memories. There's no point? No. I tried. Well, no one can perfectly remember things that happened when you were a kid. Hell, sometimes you can't even remember something from a month ago. Or five minutes ago. That is very true. Going by what you said, everything you did before a month ago has no meaning. Uh, <laughs> Let's go down the rabbit hole. Yeah, Eric, come on, tell us. <laughs> Are that important for making you who you are? Yeah, Eric, tell us. What is important then. I get how we got to this topic, but is that important in this moment? Yes. Clearly. Well, it looks like we can't do anymore. So what were they doing Question. on that pole? Why don't you try to pull the dog's leg out of a thing? I think they already tried that. What would you do in this situation? You can't get Gap loose. I look for tools to see if I can break the chain. Failing that, I try to see if I can find the key. Maybe it's in a really dumb spot, like in this thing. Yeah, I would definitely look in that. Also, while you tell me your opinion, I'm gonna do something. Honestly, I don't know. Like, if you have gone through, or oh, you're outlining the dog, gone through all options, I do not know what I would do. You could remove the leg. I mean, the chance that he's gonna bleed to death on the way is quite high if you do that. I don't feel like dismembering a dog. I mean, if I had to, to save it, I would. But I don't want to. That's like my ultimate last option. Carry on. What okay. would you do, Tifa? I really do not know. That would be like my worst dilemma. Like, do you leave the dog and hope you will return? Give him some food? I mean, there's plenty of dried food around. In some water? Do you kill the dog and leave to not have it suffer? That's like... That's a hundred time dilemma. Don't forget to attach the thing to its belt. The stripes here. So now whatever happens to Gap, saved in the memo. <laughs> Yes, boy. Why is there a timer at the bottom there? That's not a timer, that's ink. Oh. Ah, we have ink! Max notes reached. Clear. No. Screw you. 
How about you leave it? And I can't. I can't erase. Well, in that case, that's just gonna stay there. <laughs> <laughs> they learned from the previous game. Yes, unfortunately. We're gonna have to give up here. I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. But no, I would. If I can't do anything, I would leave the dog. Maybe somebody else will drop by and save the dog. Let's go. Unlikely, but there's a chance. All right. Are you ready? Yeah. Go ahead. Fuck, I thought they would appear on the wall. We had a dream, we had quark, we had arm, we had... Oh, or you just... Please, God, let this go back a long time. <laughs> it's... Please take a screenshot of that, uh, hey. as in a picture. I had three of them. Wait, how about you write that down in the file for later? Then I can also still see it here. I don't think we need this later. I'm writing it down here. We Dream, don't... key, quark, mom. Because we dear, even have this board mom. with every name, and I thought when the person is dead, the code will be put behind its name. Obviously, that's not the case. Can I just type like this? Oh my god, no. Dream! Oh lord. I was just gonna press OK. Do you think the order is important? No. If, if, if it is, then we're screwed. Key, arm, dear, mom. Dear Quark, my dream mom has an arm key. Like, see, on the board there. Yeah, that's the name of a deceased. Yeah, but I thought they would put the yes, it opened. the password there too. Okay, let's go. Hey, what's wrong? What are you doing? It's gonna I'm take off staying with Gap. I can't go. Huh? I can't leave him behind. Sorry. That breaks my heart. The number nine door has opened. Oh, I'm even feeling the tingle in my nose. It's fine, Tifa, it's just Q. <laughs> but oh. that is adorable. That is really sweet. That is so sweet. I decided that I'd stay here too. I oh. wonder why. Maybe it's that's how you get me. Have memories. I know nothing about the outside world, so I guess I didn't really want to leave. Did I make the right choice, or was it the wrong one? Now he can pet Gab all he wants. Aww. That's a that that's so cute. I was thinking they could survive here for a while. But he's probably gonna starve to death. Why? He doesn't know how to take the mask off. Wow. Somebody's gonna do it. Game over! Okay. All sections cleared. Well, this one we saw coming. The map ended at the next one. That is such a bittersweet ending, though. Okay, so. Am I, am I getting the right hunch here? This is why this game has a crap ton of endings. Because you don't actually play through the game mostly linearly like in the previous ones. You always only play like little snippets of it. Which is going to be really confusing. Yeah. I'm not really sure why this one starts here in the middle. I'm guessing one of the other story points comes It's gonna before. lead into this, yeah. What, what's this, by the way? Why, why is this here? I think that just focuses. Hmm. 
<laughs> Seriously, just remove a palm and wrap the leg in Eric's shirt. Yeah, yeah, I mean, not my, again, not my favorite choice, but yes. You, you don't even need to, like, rip off, cut off part of Gab's leg. You just need to, like, if you're well, lucky, you're just bruising it. If you're lucky, you're bruising it. At worst, you're breaking it. Which isn't good for the dog. Like, I'm not saying that, but on the grand scheme of things, I would argue it is easier for a dog to recover from a broken paw than a torn of leg. You know? Mm. Well, they can handle both, but still. How about a short break and then we do the same thing again, but not press the button? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. I can offer to Zero to swap Gab and Eric. Take Gab, leave Eric. That should have that been an option. That should have yes. definitely been an option. Then, if for the true ending you would have to take Eric and leave Gap, we would never get the true ending. I would always pick that. Wouldn't even feel bad. No, not even in the slightest. <laughs> but first, we're going to take a short break, so BRB. BRB. We're back. We are. Why can't I hear anything? Because you're not plugged in. Oh, yeah, sure. This, uh, there's oh, the sound. because the game there's just doesn't on have the any sound on the screen. Uh, where were we? This one, right? Um, yes. Oh, the game shows you. Kill button Q. Back to that one. And then we don't press the button. That's my favorite thing to do. Nothing. I I'm really good at that. Especially now we're not playing these little stories in order. It's going to be even more confusing later. Because one of these plays before this. Yeah, I'm not so sure yet. I mean, I do kind of like that... <laughs> 10 seconds. No, you. Wait, we're not um, going to press anyway. Let the timer go down. Yeah, but when the cutscene starts. Um, I do like that it seems very much like piecemeal. Like you can just... You could just technically play this game for like 30 minutes, go through a storyline and then just turn it off and then continue next mm. time. But at the same time, I liked it when it was all one cohesive story. I need to see a few more of the few stories we play to yeah. say something about that. Not going to betray first and all routes, interesting. Yeah, because, because I now don't it affects, know how they all, like, yeah, how they intertwine. Now it affects it, actually, because it's the last thing that is registered. Yeah. And like, I, I just in the other games, I knew you have to do everything to get everything. But here it's like, okay, I don't know what choices will unlock what parts of the rest of the game. So yeah. I feel like, how did, how did you all play through this game? Did you just go through one choice and then play another one? Or did you also do what we're doing now, which is to go into one, make one choice, and then go back and do the other choice? That seems to make more sense, because then you're still exactly in that moment. At least I remember this one clearly. No. Yeah. That, that's my logic behind it. So if you would now have done another thing, and then later jump back to this. Like the last. Okay, fair enough. Your choice is made. So one choice first in all stories. And then jump back. Don't you get even more confused then in Seems what has like already happened? Didn't press it either. Mm. I I am so glad. Same. Cute. Same. Did one group as far as I could. Alright. Who really Fair. knows? Mira. <laughs> 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 like Tifa? <laughs> the laughing Oops. and the side eye. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the 12 year old part of my brain gets it, but at the same time, it's like. Really, Eric? Really? What? <laughs> See, dude, I did nothing. I did nothing that's bannable. That is true. Yes. What? Then we'll have to wake up to find out if we're alive or not. That's, it, it's fucked up. Okay, 
So for those of you that played through one storyline first, when, when you get to this point... She still had her eyes open. A small budget. Did you now go to the C and D teams to trigger the parts that would continue the story for Q team? Uh, how did you do it? Because... So not... Huh? <laughs> Wait, can you go to the little floating now? Because now um, yes. this one has had one or two dots. This one doesn't have an outcome yet because we have to vote with the others. So technically we've gotten to this point, but this point is not yet clear because this point exists in at least two different dimensions. One, where nobody presses the button, and one, where somebody presses the button and Q team dies. Oh yeah, true. There have to be two iterations of this point. But that's somewhere. probably the split down there, no? No, that's probably some, I, I would imagine it's somewhere along the X axis here. Mm. You can pick other fragments of Q now, if I recall correctly. Yeah, but aren't they different story parts? Yeah, those are like somewhere else along the line, right? Yeah, these three. Yeah. Been months, I don't remember well. Fair enough. Well, I say we now just go to the other side of this little tree. Okay, but then that means we have to now do the push button thing with the other teams. So, this one. Wait, we couldn't continue that one yet? No. We did not unlock a new one. Oh, Because fair. everybody needs yeah. to make a choice. It's a decision game. True, true. We don't know. Also, really quick. I was under the impression that this game has escape room puzzles, like the first two. Yeah, yeah. Is Were that, we wrong? Is that gonna happen? I thought this is more like the intro thing. Does that still happen later? Because the whole memo thing makes no sense, really. I mean, I mean, at some point you'll probably need it to keep track of what the heck you've all been doing last. Yeah, true. We write down things digitally, but yes, because I thought there's still escape games. Want an answer? I would like an answer. Yeah. Yes, please. If you don't, I was say. To clean if you don't, I would have deleted it. For you. Well, that was for when there was a nuclear war and the world was contaminated. Ah, uh, that explains your shower heads. <sighs> oh, just as I thought. This won't open either. There are still puzzle rooms. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I was gonna say I saw it in the trailer. Normally, we'd be able to run into Probably less. I wanna say then. Hmm. What about that? Less major of a role. Okay, thank you. I checked it earlier. Oh, shine. But no dice. Locked up tight. Yeah, I was hoping they would have in here to make us play the more of that. Game? Game? It's pretty obvious at this point. 1810. Also, we were kind of talking about, about it, but Junpei checked the door. And the drug put us to sleep. Classic check every door so moment. We were napping like toddlers for four and a half hours. Naps are important. Junpei, especially if you get drunk. Wanting to ask you. Oh, here we go. During the vote earlier, you told Carlos. Come on, Carlos, oh, vote for Q team. team. Did he do it? Yeah. yeah. What about it? What about? How could you be so horrible? You used to. You'd never have said that a year ago. Oh, like you're one to talk. What? Oh, here we go. What happened to you, Junpei? What happened while I was gone? I'd like to know more about you too. Yeah, carry on, that, please. Carlos? Does that mean you're interested in me? <laughs> no. My focus is my little sister. Got no time for a love life. Huh. So our hero of justice has a sister. Who's his little sister? We don't know. Okay. Diana? Carlos huh. really is worried about you. Well, it's more I want to know about you both. Weren't you friends as kids? And last year you were trapped just like this. And escape together. Yeah, Junpei, when did you become an asshole? Why the animosity, you mean? That's exactly why. Junpei. The first or the second game, though? Second. Horrible, cruel deaths I never wanted to see. So many. But have you? People have died in... No. The other games? In... Wait, I, I, I mean, technically... The question is, 
In Virtue's last reward, we know, or we are led to believe, I want to say, that Sigma actually experienced all of the things we saw in every ending. Yeah, that, that's like how I took it. Yes. But in 999, yes, Junpei learned about these things. But my takeaway was that when we got to the true ending part, he just got the information. It's not like he lived through all of this. Does that make sense? I think it would be kind of the same, depending on how you get that information. Okay, so I think we talked about this during Virtuous Last Reward. If you go through all of these... What like some probably, things he has seen. It would probably feels like hundreds or more years of just watching people die, watching people do horrible things to each other. At what point do you get really freaking jaded? You know? Like, you've seen the worst of everybody so many times over. I'm probably becoming numb. After what happened last year, I quit school and joined a detective firm. Oh, man. Ace Attorney? What made you want to do that? It was all because of Akane there. She up and disappeared, so I went to a firm to try and find her. It's small, but known to work among the underground. <laughs> I've snuck into places running human organ trafficking like... Okay, so this is a side story of what happened in Virtue's Last Reward. No, because, this is the sequel. Yeah, but in Virtue's Last... Yeah, but what happened here? It's a different sort uh, of arc. No, arc. this because is in, in between Reward, 999 and Virtue's Last Reward. It's in between. This is the missing piece in the story setting up the events that lead to Virtue's Last Reward. It's a mid-quill. Okay, yeah, that makes more sense. The stuff in 999 happened. Akane, I guess, disappeared. He wanted to find her. He joined this group of detectives, whatever, and he saw even more horrible shit, because if in you look at it, you might pretty fucked up. They're younger again. No, they're not. No, no they're never not. mind. They're older. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Akane is old and he is Ten Miyuji. Yeah, true, true, true. I got the placement again. I've been growing. Na, 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 na. I know the song. I can never remember all the lyrics. At least not to Matt Lincoln Park song. Junpei equals Detective Dick Gumshoe, aka Detective, Detective, Detective. Confirmed. Always has been. Junpei was the one that made the blue badger. Saw a co-worker I just finished eating with pushed off a rooftop the other day. Never had a by the books case where I just had to prove he cheated. Every job that passed my hands was dirty and dangerous. That's when I realized humans aren't as beautiful as I thought. I'd only been skimming the surface all this time. Except for you, Carlos. So every day, after work, I drink myself to sleep. Spoilers for The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings? Oh, well, that's random. Yeah, because here's what I'm thinking. Um, we've, we've talked about this the other day, uh, a little while ago, when we watched The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings movies. The Lord of the Rings does this... I think kind of wonderful thing where at the end of the story of the Lord of the Rings Frodo is like I've seen too much like I did all of this journey and I cannot adjust back to my old life and then they leave makes sense yeah. there is some things people don't necessarily recover from and I I think that's sad in a way, but human people died because you ghosted me. I can't literally it's ghosted. Basically, that yeah. yeah. Like it's kind of a <laughs> just the fact that got that kind of jobs. I'm pretty sure there are places with that kind of jobs, pretty much exclusively. Isn't this the perfect job to give to an intern? <laughs> it's like I don't want to deal with this. Give it to the Atsubi. I mean, Atsubi intern. The intern. The trainee. I mean, if you have a certain set of skills like Junpei does, you know, if somehow you're able to seemingly magically pull information out of thin air and then you can solve a case. It probably more had to do with the cases he was, with the agency he applied for. Um, 
I, don't I doubt know. this was your normal detective agency. <laughs> Up of your college term. <laughs> and no overtime today, remember? We're gonna pay you for that. And don't think just because you clean up your co-worker's body on a Sunday, you get Sunday extra pay. Still expect you in Monday morning. With the shower running. It was the only way I was able to get the scent of blood off me. But last month, finally, finally, I got intel through our network that Akane was joining this experiment. So that's why you came to DCOM. Yeah, I threatened those in charge and forced my way in. Wouldn't they have a different reunion then? And he wouldn't be all like, oh... Hi, Akane. Yes, but we didn't get to see that yet. Fair enough. I'm pretty sure that happened. I would but imagine, we but we didn't see it. Bit. Yeah, but that's that that's in media res. It just starts, mm. like right in the thick of it. I so, guess. Um, Akane, how's Santa? Uh, I mean Aoi. Oh. My brother. Yeah. I heard about Ace. So that's how you pronounce it, Aoi. He hasn't escaped yet. Lotus is doing all right. She's working and raising her kids still. Who told you this? That detective guy, Seven. Okay. Hey! We destroyed Free the Soul's headquarters. Wait. There we go. That was part I of my predictions. Predictions. I need that list for a second. I predicted that. We had... Oh, well, I, I put it in the list. Free the Soul will play a part. There you go. That's not I predicted this, that's a shared prediction. Yes, but I wrote it down in there. Also, just for it being mentioned, I wouldn't say counts as it plays a it's part. It's gonna be more of a thing later, just Yeah, watch. but that doesn't mean it's already there right now. By the way, do you think the reason why Q is wearing that mask is because Q is a brother clone? You think they're uh, going a, a, there again? A left clone? I, I, I keep switching the names. Left. Mm, yes, I think with one kids they... Could have just gone away with it. Why? If you see a blonde-haired kid that looks kind of like... What's what's yeah. the asshole from Virtus Last Reward? The rest we didn't go through yet. The kid. No, the asshole. The circus ringleader dude. Oh, uh um, Fuck face. Uh, left suddenly I forgot the... The name. Myrmidon. Yeah. Dio, Dick Dio. D yes, thank yes, you. Thank Dio. You. Yes. Think of it. See, he's Eric's dog because it showed us a picture of a dog with no context. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. But yeah. can I already put an X behind so, that? <laughs> what should Tifa? It's not it's been not, deconfirmed yet. It's fine. I'll leave it in. It's How not. could you forget Dio? I'm really good at repressing shitty memories. I remember Dio. I just forgot the name Dio. Like, he's kind of now just lefty. Destroyed? Hey, uh, what's Free the Soul? A religious cult. <laughs> Play the previous game, dude. They're a freaky terrorist organization who never stop trying to create their new world. They abducted my brother and I ten years ago. And the game we played last year was related to that big kidnapping case. My brother and I were trying to track Free the Soul's movements, but... How did Junpei know we played 999 last year? <laughs> oh my god, the game okay. is listening to Good us! Guess. You were too, Junpei? I came across some info on them while I was working. Seven was the one still on their trail. But I kind of think we went too far by destroying their headquarters. I'm pretty sure we pissed off their boss. I, I think his name was Brother. So wait, you're saying this Zero the Second has something to do with him? Do you know anything about it, Akane? I already told you, I'm not connected to this. That's a lie. Has to be. I don't think she necessarily needs to be connected Akane to this one. Akane wore the cultist outfit in Virtue's Last Reward. Yeah, but At the end, she wears the cultist outfit that looks pretty much exactly like the one that Snake ended up wearing in 999. Yeah, but she also said she has no information on what happened in this thingy. Yes, which but is why I think she's lying. Know. I don't think so right now. I'm sorry, she works together with Sigma. Has she told him that yet? Well, that we don't know. Has I she... can't believe that she doesn't know what happened in here yet. Used the morphogenic field, I wish I could. I don't know why this person is calling themselves Zero. 
Why don't you enlighten us as to why you joined DCOM, Akane? She does have a good point, though. I understand the anger. that name has thrown us into a similar game. No way you can ask me to believe they're unrelated. Stop it, Junpei. Nah, he has a point. I can tell. Akane's the victim. I'm here to change the future. Huh? There we go. Free the Soul is currently attempting to implement a terrifying plan. I infiltrated the experiment to stop that. See, now she tells you that this game would happen. I don't know. I didn't know any specifics about all of this. I like how they swap the didn't and don't in the subtitles. A very distant future. So you access the morphogenetic field and D hold up. Shut the fuck up. We're learning. What are you talking about? I would also be like, sure, what he said. Yeah. Now he interrupted the flow. Uh, why do you have to interrupt now? All three groups are voting for different teams. Therefore, we haven't even voted yet, will have we? Voted for different teams. I thought this is the shower one where the button is pressed. Okay. And the voting doesn't make sense. Question. I know we were arguing about stuff. Can you like, go to the flow for a sec? Why Junpei is the way he is? The but, global one, I think. Yeah, the global one. But we didn't get to make a choice. That's what I'm saying. Go to the global one. Oh no, wait, wait. This is right after the choice thingy. Okay. Yeah. We're true, we woke up, didn't know the outcome. This is from the after the intro. And now we still get to the button part. Okay, now I understand where we are. Oh. My... Sorry. Um... I can confirm now. I can confirm now these batteries are dead. And I charged them today. Specifically so that this wouldn't happen. I um, even said, I was like, we should order new batteries to avoid this. And Jack was like, no, I probably didn't charge them. These were charged and I took them out myself. Yeah, put those on the side. I... am pissed about that because... <clears throat> now I'm back? Yes, I am. Because I charged those today. I charged all of our batteries today, thinking I want to avoid exactly this happening. I'm telling you, they were already charged. Yep. We need to order new ones. <laughs> they could have already been here, if you just <sighs> believe me. If only at the morphogenetic field, huh? <laughs> I <clears throat> had. Okay, so instead of trying to get to the other outcome, we accidentally played a different part of the game. Oh, well. Why? This is the getting to the other outcome. They now need to decide if they're gonna press the button yes or no. Oh no, wait! True, sorry, I thought this is now the announcement that um, nobody pressed the button here. This is the announcement that nobody voted to kill the other team in the previous Yeah, that's why the voting thing was a bit confusing. But we this are is exactly where I think the, we were going to be. After the first round, yes. Yeah. Not very shocking. Honest Psycho? That's what I mean. This is You're why right. this bit of flow is confusing. You are right, but it still hurts me. Oh, that thing. Hydrogen fluoride? It's not only acidic enough to... It seems... Are they questioning it, or does everybody know more about chemistry than I do? Did you forget some of the puzzles they solved in 999? Yes. So most they, of them. they know what it is. I've forgotten most of them. They had some with chemical solutions as well, hmm. where everyone knew what it was. So I guess here we should do the same and press it first. Well, press it, then go back and not press it. Yes, Isn't press it, it so that the rest dies. Wait, let's think about this. 
Get out of my way, Akane. We need to push the button before the other teams do. What are you saying, Junpei? Are you really planning to sacrifice everyone else so you can escape? It's to survive. He's... He spent the last however long of his life trying to find you and now there's a button press between you. See, with him I understand the urgency and the agency he has. He's the koi that has been placed in an aquarium with a piranha. It's kill or be killed. You have a piranha. So to make sure to kill them first. The survival instinct is kicking in. One year, and you've changed so much. Ah! Says the time traveling girl. Junpei, damn you! Do you want to die? You're okay with never seeing your sister again. Maria. No way in hell I'm dying. I did not go through everything just to die today. Do we know Maria? I was thinking the same, but I don't think so. Hmm. No, don't, Carlos. If none of the teams push it, then it has to be like when we voted. While you're wishing on a star, we'll end up killed. Junpei! Push it, Carlos! Well, you could have talked to me, Akane. Yeah, for example, through the morphogenetic field. That would have been nice. Imagine, huh? Also, answer the question. Where's your brother? What is he doing? Carlos, Which brother? Why? Her brother, Santa. No, Akane. How are you? Hey, um, you did good, Carlos. Junpei? You dedicated your life to saving people, so this is probably hard for you. But what you did is... Stop, stop! Carlos! It wasn't me! Someone took my hand and... There we go. Stop it. You did the same thing in the previous game, and then it shocked me that you actually had the nerve to do it, game developers. You're not gonna tell me I'm doing it again. <laughs> oh no, how could this happen? Like this... Boop. This was not that. my choice. Oh, are you? I'm the. Am I the devil? Uh, maybe it's stress, or you've always had that urge. No. Very deep down inside. <laughs> your bad judgment calls on something. Now you're just a goat. You. <laughs> Germans did. It's just part of being human. <laughs> I don't know if you are aware, but um, putting people into showers and then. <laughs> I don't want to use the word kill because that's taking it lightly. Let's say destroy them in there is something that Germans historically have done. That's why when we first got to the decontamination room, I was thinking, oh cool, a puzzle room. And then they were like, no, acid shower. And I was like, that's fucked up. <laughs> yeah. No, we're not going there, don't that's... worry. Life experiences. No, I don't like it. But I get it, it gets the point across. You sacrifice the lives of others in order to continue your own survival. Zero. It truly is a natural human reaction. You simply made an emergency evacuation. The action is legally justifiable. Good thing this zero is a lawyer. So far I'm not a big fan yet of how they did this though, like the killing thing. I apologize. Like they're killing six people at once. Why? Do you think this zero? Time for good kids to be in bed or something. Hey, that's 30 minutes after the stream starts, dude. Do you think this zero might be one of the three of the soul people? Well, she did say she well, they are planning something. She tried to stop them. Yeah. So this could definitely be free and soul. <laughs> I killed all of them. Pleasant dreams, Carlos. You did have the ice glass. All of this is messed up, yo. Why do hey! you make me press three times? Gap is loose here. Hey, nice. At least someone who managed to save Gap. You could say that they minded the Gap. <laughs> <laughs> or he wasn't chained up in there and I'm sure we're the first people ever making a joke while playing this game. The decontamination room. Decontamination. <laughs> 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 
Who let the dog out? Zero, zero, zero. Weird. I feel like I've been trapped in this room before. I, you know what's fucked up about Q? I guess. Do you think the helmet thing dissolves? Button. <sighs> because if it doesn't, this. only his body does. Right. They already said it will bite through metal and glass. Iron, glass yeah, but we, we don't. Bodies. What makes you think this helmet would not melt? And the bracelets? That it's more fucked up. Not really. Deja vu. I've been in this place before. You might die a little slower, I would imagine. Could the helmet be lead? Possible. While I'm trying to talk over the death screams of six people. Melting. The way to make it fastest for yourself would be to go ahead first, I would imagine. I don't think you consider that in this moment, Tifa. I mean, no, but I would imagine that. The helmet having to melt first is... Okay, you know On what, behalf of everybody, Tifa, nobody asked. You kind of did. I did not you want an answer from you. You kind of started that. Let the same end where... We've already seen this one before. We've seen the thingies of all in all rooms. And look at how tiny Gap actually is. Now announcing the current They're just tall people. Q team. Q. Mira. Eric. D team. Diana. Phi. Sigma. These six are now deceased. <laughs> there exists no world where Tifa is <laughs> People have tried to look for that multiverse. It's not there. Uh, Are you gonna second, write it down again? Yeah, a second set of passwords. Self. Rip. Rip. Lake. Lake. Bird. Bird. Twin. Twin. Old. These are all callbacks to Virtue's Last Reward. What's the callback to Lake? <laughs> I don't recall Lake. No, sorry, some of them Or Twin. Are. Or Bird. Well, in the first one we had Arm and here we have Rip. Old could be Ten Miyuji. I mean, I'm Drink sure the words have walk. a meaning, but still. Mom, dear, Arm, Self, Rip, Lake, Bird, twin. Literally Quark. Yes, thank you for helping me remind Tifa that one of her passwords was literally the name of a person technically, supposedly, allegedly not even born yet. Yeah, but it doesn't have to mean every word is necessarily connected to that. It's connected to something. I agree the passwords are important. But they it said doesn't Quark need to be because we're talking about the dairy product. It doesn't all need to be connected to the previous thing. It could also just be related to the person. Could it be that those six words are related to the six people that died? Yes. That's what I'm thinking. I just said that. Because one of the people In, wait, no, 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 no. In the first one, we didn't kill Q. But Junpei died. So Quark would make sense because he later on takes. Anyway. Yeah. It all makes sense, but it also doesn't. It will make sense. Bird. Twin. Old. It's gonna. That is all. Bird? The little one in Luna's Boy. cage thingy? Still going with a Diana is the proto Luna. Sure, there was something with a bird. Oh, see, that's where the passwords are. I knew they were on the sign. Okay. Did we see this shot in the other one? Because I don't think. Mm. Diana Bird, I told you, I told you. Bird, Diana, fight twin. Phi is the twin. Which means she has a brother or sister. Mira Rip, that kind of seems to go into the direction of she's the murderer. Uh, we need to check the last two passwords. Ready? 
Lake. Eric Lake Sigma Old. Wow. Uh, okay. That was fast. Oh, we put these passwords. I bet brother is Fi's brother and their it's twins. Even. The other teams. No. Oh. That worked better in my head. It's not your fault, Carlos. I've been busting my ass for the past ten years. I wanted to save as many lives as I could. Oh, Shouldn't have joined up for this. He did save three. Do that. Luco Cloridium. Or Spino Cordodes Teleniae. Have you heard of either of these, Carlos? Talk fancy to me, what? Why are you suddenly You were like, oh, how do they know what this means? Because they know what these words. Yeah. Creatures larger than them. Parasites. Is she calling me a parasite? Are you suggesting we were controlled by whatever that was you said? Leucochloridium are snail parasites. Pragmantises and grasshoppers get Spinocordodes teleniae. I don't so think so, this. Don't you do. I would not come up with these words. I've heard of one, however. Toxoplasma gondii. Toxoplasma gondii? Like at some point, Toxoplasma gondii. the first person came with a super random word like this, and then the rest all for shits and giggles went along with it. The rats are attracted to cats? For humans infected with Toxoplasma gondii, changes in <laughs> personality have been reported. You become oh, yeah, I the cats, huh? your reaction no, you. is slow, or you become extremely sensitive. Are you saying Carlos pushed that button because of something like that? She's saying Carlos ate a cat. No. But it's more Carlos realistic has a parasite. than saying you were possessed by a devil. A human controlling parasite. I've been called many things in my life, but never that. If I ever make a bad decision at work, I'm just gonna go... A brain it parasite. Was, it was the parasite. Yeah. I did not do this. Sorry, Your Honor. Wasn't me. Parasites. I didn't want to say it in fear of getting minus ready? points mm -hmm. in my talks, but I Probably have a here. human controlling right. parasite up my bum. And let's put in the passwords. Why it gotta be in your ass? That's usually where they are, no? I have a brain controlling parasite. I did not say brain controlling. <laughs> and, <laughs> and where would Tifa have a brain controlling parasite? She's. I was thinking of like lintworms. <laughs> and people think I'm the ass here. No! It's Tifa. That's what she told you. <laughs> That's why your breath is so weird sometimes. No, you're just smelling your own bullshit. Anyway. Passwords. Tifa's Self? brain her intestines. Go <laughs> <laughs> yep. Her words. Not That's ours. where my second brain is. That's why I never said it was in the brain. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. I said the human controlling parasite. Tifa, where does the human body do all the processing? Not in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be surprised. It's like ratatouille. Rats fully controlling you by your hands. The <laughs> rat was in his ass. <laughs> but also not in his brain. It was talking to him. It was it controlling wasn't. him through his hair, which is which is signals processed by the brain in the yeah. head. And if you're walking and I pull the back of your jeans on the right side, you'll turn to the right. Well, we call some people assholes. Yeah. <laughs> Put in the password. I'm trying. <laughs> Lake. Old. What else do we have? Bird. Twin. <laughs> multiple, multiple, not just one. They're fighting for supremacy up in there. Well, I'm glad I can blame the brain parasite from now on. It opened. It opened. As if I didn't even fix the clipping on her hair. The door will close right away. There was no budget for that. No gap. Work faster, please, please. Go gap, go. Is that a laser beam or what was that? Hey. Oh, 
But I remember when I last saw that light. Why are you crying? Because I remember when I last saw that light. Which was? Do you remember? I don't think you can see, but he's crying. Yes, I am. Do you? Do you remember the beginning and the end of Blue Stinger? No. Go. <laughs> At least for 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 what I'm trying to do, at least lie and say yes. But what if I say yes and you ask me a question about it? Blue Stinger is the greatest horror survival action game ever made on the Dreamcast, or in general, but it was on the Dreamcast. We played it last two year years for ago November. for no. November. Last year, two years ago. Last year was other games, and we played it two years ago on for November. It's on YouTube by now. Um, if you want to see a bad game, we it, got the whole plate. I'm YouTube. sorry, Blue Stinger is what to this day Resident Evil is trying to hope to achieve at some point. It is amazing. But the that's Blue not the Stinger point. Blue Stinger starts like that. Does it? Yes, when Nephilim shows up, there's this blue stupid light thing that looks like it's, it's dropping out of something. It's exactly the I same. It looks like this satellite. Hey, what? Go to YouTube, what watch are you it. standing around for? Carlos? I, Is Gap too slow? I can't leave with you guys. Oh, he's feeling guilty. What? Huh? Don't tell me Gap gets caught. In another history that I definitely save you two. Another history? So he also has. Nonsense. Okay. What are you babbling about? The morphogenic field? Later, guys. Carlos! So why is he staying behind for this? Because he, through the morphogenic field, was told that he would save them. Yeah, but then why does he need to stay behind? And more know. importantly, did Gap made it through? Just hang on. I hope so. I'm going to go save you now. That's a wall, my dude. <laughs> Wait, that's how it ends? We all saw him run headfirst into a wall like Juggernaut style, right? I'm slightly confused. Well, as is tradition, now we do it again. <laughs> this is an illusion, apparently. <laughs> Carlos did the Dark Souls Elden Ring thing where he attacked the wall and then it disappeared. The funny thing is, at the moment where I would imagine you would hit the wall, you had this yeah, sound cut off. to black. Yeah. Save who? His sister? Why Them? couldn't he leave? I don't know. Why did he have to stay? I don't know. Hmm. This game is confusing me. These endings are really confusing. Is it an official end? Not even. No. I don't think it counts as an end though. Not pressing the button. I was doing the huffing just as a joke. I... It's been three minutes. Does that mean none of the teams? It has to mean no one pushed it! Oh, seemingly. That was the longest 180 seconds ever. <laughs> You're telling me. I'm nearly drowning in my own sweat. <laughs> like I practically had that acid bath already. Too soon, Junpei. It seems there may be a misunderstanding, so I shall learn Akane is just smell like, yeah, sure, it's not like you just attacked me. I do wonder if he's responding live now, or if this is just this is pre a pre-recorded pre pre message based on what seems like a very normal reaction to have. <laughs> Hi, mm -hmm. I've read this. Hi. How are you Glad doing? you did. Welcome in. Thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Super Bris. Am I pronouncing that correctly? How are you doing? If we're butchering it, let us know. Yes. I still think all of these are pre-recorded. What? I also still think zero is signal. And when will we? That's not the point here. Less than a minute left before we're knocked out. That. Means... See how he said the exact same You're thing to the other group? Until we're already it seems pre-recorded. Yeah. Probably. Good night. Junpei. But these, it 
also makes sense if it's live, because in the intro he mentioned that that one was pre-recorded. Nah, it's all pre-recorded. It's all pre-recorded. Oh, we're getting somewhere. Okay, and now we can do it one last time. Let's do that some more. One. Fine. <laughs> No. The controls for menus are weird. You would think you can use the arrow keys, but no, you have to do WASD. Kind of makes sense if you translate first come, first serve. Oh, yeah, same chapter. Uh, if you translate, like, con Stop talking nonsense. controls. You won't get away okay, with slide. Wait, did you pick the wrong one? I don't think I did. I think you picked the wrong story. Did I? No! <laughs> or is she having nightmares? What's wrong? She is morphogenetic fielding. Oh. Alive. Huh? We really are alive, right? Hey, are you sure you're all right? It was a bad dream. I mean, it can't be her memories coming back Where? already. Where are we going with this story, man? Because that was actually before she died. Never mind. Yeah. In one of the other flows. Yeah. But did she, like Junpei, just see that? Or did she, like Sigma, lift that and jump into this body now? Won't even budge. I have no clue. Does that mean it's locked? Currently, we don't yeah, know seems that, way. that she has any of so those that abilities. Means we're trapped, huh? Where are we? The decontamination room. That's how it's labeled on the map. There are showers. I don't know why, but her orange eyebrows are throwing me off. I like them. After you return from outside. Well, in the case of nuclear war, of course. Which means there are two exits heading to the surface. Here, and the X door in the lounge. Like, orange eyebrows. Like Not my first choice, side. but with an eyeliner. I don't see how they're connected on the map, but it must be there. Okay, then let's escape through that door. How exactly do you propose that... It looks like it's been welded shut. Why did five game mommy energy between the course of two games? <laughs> That's a little bit. We I think it's it. the new look. Yeah. Kind of. We I like it. it. We try pushing it. We we wanted the better not. Your sister is your secretary, but also your mommy vibes. Stepsister, of course. And the glasses. She didn't have glasses before, did she? So we've been asleep for uh, almost no, four and a half it. hours. Did she? Um, no, she didn't. Might not be true. Right. Zero did say. Once ninety minutes are up, an injector in your face. I mean, her outfit looks like she's wearing this like this one piece thing, and then her like what is this? Her shirt over it. I I kind of like it. it. Means we could have woken up and fallen asleep several times since then, but we just don't remember any of it. I wonder what the results of the vote. The shirt and the pants are two separate things. It's highly unlikely that. Yes, but it looks like to me like that's like a one-piece suit you thing underneath, and then a shirt over it. Diana voted against the plan on the note and chose C team. Well, wait, hold up. What are you saying? I thought Diana voted for Q team. Isn't that right? I'm sorry. I. Well, I. I don't really remember. Same. What? How is that possible? I was gonna say to How could you forget? The parasite was After controlling. Thirteen thirty. He told us we wouldn't be injected with the amnesia meds. Right. I remember it exactly. Diana had chosen to vote for Q team. No. I know for sure that she definitely voted for C team. Are they all jumping timelines and stuff now? You're the one out of it, you senile old fart. They're probably seeing exactly what we saw, which means this is confusing as heck. Wait. Don't tell me. They're getting information from all timelines. Jumped? See? Yeah, that. There. That's the thing. They jumped in from two different timelines. Confusing. And it's gonna get worse. 
or forget about knowing which what was going on about back in decom well it's all true forget just realizing where in the like timeline we are in the story in what part in case of sigma and phi it can also that be that they jump into this point from two... Oh my god. I'm telling you, in two weeks I have no clue what's going on here. I heard you like morphogenic fields, so I put some morphogenic fields in the morph... <laughs> That's exactly Thanks, how it feels, exit. though. I'll be so confused by the end of this game. You saying mankind would be destroyed? What <laughs> did he mean exactly? Mm -hmm. Do you mind explaining? Even if I did, I don't think you'd believe me. It's highly likely you won't even understand. You see, the things Sigma and I have been through are, um, complicated and mysterious. <laughs> Does that mean your consciousness came from the future? 2074? Yeah, who is this five by voice? That's not exactly right. Sigma and I both originated from the current world of 2028. Our consciousnesses were sparked by a specific event into jumping forward to 2074. We returned to April 2029, where we lived 45 years normally through time. In January 2074, our two consciousnesses were booted to the past again. And essentially ended up. She would have already lost me. Christmas of 2028. We're time travel. <laughs> yeah, that face. Mm. You understand? Do you? It doesn't have to make sense. You only need to believe us. That's how cults start. The future? Correct. Just believe me, bro. I have to know then. Why was mankind destroyed? It's not exactly destroyed. It isn't as if there aren't any survivors left. But a, a large few. number are... Yes, the dead number, six billion. It's all because of Radical Six. A horrific virus that affects the human brain. Like a parasite. Spread quickly worldwide. And humanity began heading to extinction. Trust me, bro. God, God wants me to, to have, have a harem. Well, in that case... Honest Just psycho, me. I, if you're willing to accept this mission, I've got one for you. Um, over the next year, over, over the course of 2024, if you are so inclined, try that line or a variation of it on as many people as you deem a good choice and report back with how often it worked. Keep in mind, the only thing that keeps you from living your harem route is that you haven't tried. Yeah, definitely good. Yeah. What do you call it? Poly... Polyamory. Yeah, there. There you have it. I mean, that's if you love multiple people. That would involve me talking to other people, so that... there no love involved in harems? The joke's on you. You're currently talking to other people right now. Mm, that's now he's step. talking to the brain parasites directly. Uh, technically, you're talking to Tifa's so ass and mine It's kind of different. Uh, <laughs> also, take up that challenge. I tried <laughs> zero times and it had a hundred percent success. Rate. See, see, we're getting the there first pieces of data. That works. That works. Technically, if you want to argue about it, we are part of your harem already, and you haven't even asked. <laughs> the location the virus originated at was the experimental facility, Decom. That was what we were told, anyway. There you Some go. The, the screen between us makes me free ironic. <laughs> how so? This is Funny how it works, no? But it does make a big difference. Six wasn't leaked from Decom. I've got a feeling it came from the shelter instead. Hmm. Regardless, back then we believed it all started at Decom. So we infiltrated the facility as subjects to prevent the release of the virus. With Akane's help. Akane? She's the leader of a secret group called Crash Keys that wants to save Crash the Crash Keys, that's new. You what, mate? Stop giving us more organizations! Do we know anything about Crash Keys? No, that's a new name, I believe. You should also unlock safe lift feature to get hammered. <laughs> 
be very hard about it. Um, I think how hard the harem route for you is depends on your stats, um, your skills, your main skills at least, and um, also your strategy. Because I would argue that regardless of your stats or approach, you can build a harem if you ask the right people. The question is whether those are the people that you want in your harem. Depending how you look at it, we already got a little harem here. Whether they know of that yet is something else. I was talking IRL. I was talking about the game. Oh. Anyway, how would you like organizations? <laughs> <laughs> Put some organizations in your organizations. <laughs> Did you already have that message pre-typed after the previous one? <laughs> it's gonna get so confusing. Uh -huh. Quick save load or Zarawudo. Using the organization's assets, we hacked the admin server and altered the original subject list and data. I see. But then they could also control who gets in. It all seems so fake. I could hardly keep up with all of it. We're not lying. It's true. All right then. I'd like to go back for a second. Bye. I'm gonna like their route, at least I already know it. There's so much info dropping. Does that mean? Yes. Can we skip the voting no. result text? No. I, if I can skip ahead, this little fast forward button appears. Oh, that's fair enough. Because this means. Let's wait until somebody else speaks. I'm so glad. I can say this is an ideal situation for many of us involved. It appears that none of you fully grasp the essence of this game. Will we get the true ending in this game by causing Zero the second to die from a bore out? It's like, well, none of you fuckers ever do what we want you to do anyway, so just leave or something. At some point, there's probably no chance or no choice. But someone has to die. What must you do? It's simple. I shall show you. And then it's Gab. Like a, if you don't press, you will die, sort of thing. Yes, yeah, I'm saying. And then Gab it's Gab. is the mastermind. <laughs> no, Gab needs to die for the others to live. If they do that, I swear. I would think Gab still has a bigger role to play, though. Yes. Eric's support animal. He is not Eric's support animal. Watch it. I think he's gonna be our support animal during the game. <laughs> what? He barks at you when you get the timeline wrong. <laughs> that theory is wrong. Mm -hmm. That theory is bad and you should feel bad. <laughs> That'd be so cute. It kind of would be. When are you gonna try the orange eyebrows and eyeliner look? Not my thing. Have you tried it? No. Maybe after you do. Diana's outfit looks really comfy, by the way. No? Like a nice red sweater. The skirt thing looks comfy. Want me to get you an outfit like that? Mm. Wait, I have another one. I'm doing it At least she's warmer than Maria. What? It's not to escape. Of course, I don't want to kill the other teams. But if we don't act, we're the ones who die. It's not for certain. No one pushes it before three minutes are up. But if we wait, all three teams will be killed. The acid will melt even our bones, and all that's left will wash down the drain. Is that how you want to reunite? To hug and cry together in the drain? By then we wouldn't even shall be able to see or hold them. Wait, wait, Sigma! Please calm down! How could I possibly do that? He has a point. Oh, evil eyebrows. Pushing the button right now as we speak. Keep in mind, this is the Sigma that has how old is he now? 74, I think it was? That he has 74 years worth of hatred against other people and like distrust and all that because somebody ruined humanity, right? Yeah, he's on a mission to save everyone. Just get listen, it. Please. 
Very it's kind of funny that somebody who ends up hating people trying to save people. Never said what would happen once the time limit ended. She's right. Three minutes is just a space of time. There's still a chance. I should watch this new anime called Cowboy Bebop. Yeah, the live sure? action. Anime. It must yeah. mean that we are being tested to see how much we all trust. Please believe, Sigma. Trust the other teams. There's no trust there. Press the button. I'm sorry, but I have to make our wife do the thing. Not like, even close. I like how she goes, please Sigma, trust the other teams. But she's the one that has to decide anyway. Shh. Like she's team captain. And I've traveled back in time again. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I hate it when that happens. Are you kidding me? You just finished begging me to trust the others. <laughs> what the hell was all that for? Parasites. It's like, pick my choice. Why did you pick my choice? He has a point. This conversation makes sense. But she could have gone like, oh, I'm convinced by what you said. Yeah, we're gonna go again with, oh, I was made to press this. But this makes perfect sense. It's, Sigma uh, was like, I want to press the button. They told him no. And then now she does. He's like, what the fuck, you hypocrite? It makes perfect sense. It's also, the brain. Sit like a human. Brain bums. Parasites. What do you mean? Our vote back at 1330. Diana chose C team instead of going along with what was on the note. I asked her why, and she said the same thing as now. I don't know. There we go. Add a command. What would you like, Poop Lord? I know. What? I'm saying I know what you don't know. My thought earlier that we probably. Oh. Yeah, so I, I guess story wise, Phi already played through one half of the game and Sigma played through the other half. No clue at this point. Confusing. There is no blame to be placed on you for your decision. Now, I'm sure you would like to get out of your immediate way. But before that, I apologize. But for pressing the phone. We already have that command, so you would need to change it a little. Could go with president? You have done exactly as I commanded. Why, Tifa? We all believed no. you. <laughs> How did this happen? <laughs> that we can do. Copying. Expect it next time. Hmm. All right. Wait, this game is that... confusing the hell out of me. Like it's definitely gonna get worse. Can you show the? Uh... Oh my lord! Wait, 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 wait! We're going back to the game. I was just clicking through while turning off the game, but it turns out. I was wrong. I was expecting so, this part of the gameplay choices was like on the x-axis. No, we're actually playing through the leftmost thing right now. Okay, that's very straightforward. Nice. Okay. So the everyone lives... What does this mean? I have no clue. What, what do I... The everyone lives brings us on a super long straight path down without any choices like how why what happens well it just looks like that we don't know if there are choices it's just that they're not currently shown fair enough we've been lied to by a flow chart before tifa yeah but usually like later on not this yeah. early on but still but still well i have a feeling we're gonna find out tomorrow so why would one of these have four different endings here <laughs> when Secret ending. Only one group survived up until this point, allegedly. It's the harem ending. That could Where be. they all just give up and decide to repopulate humanity. I their... love how this whole chart is for puzzle. It's so meta. Yes. Yes, it is. And I don't yeah. understand it, 
And it Same. confuses me, and I don't like that. <laughs> but we'll get there. It's probably <sighs> gonna get much worse before it gets clear. Yes, we've been lied to since before we were born. Something like that. Something like that. It does feel like it. Yeah. Let me open this. Oh well. Uh, I... I think at some point it's all gonna make sense. But for now, it's still a bit confusing and the amount of info dumping that's happening does not help. Mm. You'll get hurt if you jump off a building and they say, no gravity is... <laughs> True. Um, question. I remember some people in our Discord discussing in the spoilers channel. I didn't read them. I only saw that you guys posted about them and there was some like back and forth. Like I said, I didn't read any of it. It was very hard not to click on that. Yes, it, it, my fingers are itching to read that. <laughs> um, did we already get to any of the points that people generally like or dislike about the game? Or do we still get to that? We just started it. Yes, but maybe one of the main things that people are like split about is how the story unfolds. Like the oh, jumping back and forth between the different teams. Because I'm still not sure if I like I it am. or not. I think I think I like it. And I like the lack of actual puzzle rooms so far. I dislike the lack of puzzle rooms. I think I said like. Yeah, I mean so far I I hope, I do not know, but I hope we're still in the like building anticipation part of a game. Because so far it's an interactive movie. It's yeah, like there, there is very little gameplay. <laughs> we can all agree on this, like yes. Eric, yes. 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 I am curious about his storyline, but it's also like. I also don't want to go through it. Like, he's been annoying from like the first minute he's been introduced. He's still gonna have some huge I, mental breakdown. Yeah, I'm pretty sure when we learn more about why Eric is the way Eric is, we will feel some way, shape, or form about him, but... Well, I already feel some way, shape, or form about him. They did a really him. good job at making me have a hard time to readjust my opinion about him based on how he was presented to us pretty much exclusively from the beginning, because... <laughs> oh my homies hate Eric. <laughs> same, same. Jack and Tifa podcast when consider this your podcast. I was gonna say exactly the same thing. Every time, every, every day, every time and day, see, two words, one sound. Uh, every time we stream, before we get into the gameplay stuff, it's kind of like a podcast about our daily lives and we just chat with all of you. And kind of the same right now, so... That's one way to look at it. Been there, done that, eight times a week, for like three years. Bam, poop lord. Bam. There you go. <laughs> there you have it. There you go. There you have it. Well, we're gonna continue it tomorrow. My, maybe it will make more sense. I'm gonna doubt it and say it's gonna be even more confusing. But one way to find out. I have one more thing. What is it? Jack and Tifa inventor of podcasts. I don't think so. But sure, let's go with that. <laughs> um, so it appears that the word twin matters with phi. I don't know how, but apparently it does. Uh, that means phi is probably part of a twin. Yeah, but who's the twin? I was joking when I said brother, but why do I think it's gonna be brother? Because that would be just so Oh my god, do you think Fi brother is brother? Is the twin. Because now, if, if Fi oh is my a god. twin, wait, doesn't that mean every clone is sort of a twin? No, they're clones of left. No, what? weren't left clones of brother, I forgot. No, 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 listen, there were two people. There was the guy that died. And that was you had brother and brother, left. And there was the guy in charge was left. left. Wait, who died again? Left or was, was it the other way around? <laughs> I <Did> forget. You... <laughs> Clones left <laughs> and right. That's how it should have been done. That's how it should have. 
put it in. Regardless, I think the message is clear. Phi is, if it really does have to do with What something. if she is the other part of Free the Soul? Yeah, that could very well be. If that's what the message implies. But then you could also be right with Diana because of the bird. Yeah, Di Diana is the, the, the person that Sigma eventually builds Luna based on. A hundred percent. I don't really get the lake bit. Lake with Eric? Oh, I wrote it down wrong in my file here. Um, didn't yeah, you, you, don't you remember? Wrote old word, old yeah. Um... <laughs> don't you remember that Eric at the last bit that we now played with them had this breakdown? I was like, oh no, uh, Chris, it was cold. I'm guessing Eric and his brother Chris went to a lake in winter. They fell in. Uh, Eric got saved and Chris died trying to get him out. Oh, that could be. And that's so part of why Eric is so troubled. That that could actually mm. be. If I recall correctly, left died and brother cloned him as Dio and Avros. Okay. Yeah, that, I think that was it, yeah. Because all the clones were lefties. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. We, we talked about this during Virtuous Last Reward. Just because they are clones of left doesn't mean they are genetical copies. That is they true. They might share most of the DNA, but it ha can have been altered. So, yeah. <laughs> Whose eyes are those eyes? <laughs> how can eyes be? How can mirrors be real if our eyes aren't real? As a person once said. I don't really see Phi into it, but the twin hint seems very important. I have another one. Phi is... Wait. Okay, hear me out. Here I go. I, I'm trying to verbalize my thoughts. Left and brother mm. are Santa and Akane. Santa and Akane? Yeah. I don't agree with that one. From a different timeline. The only thing we know about... Well, we know Left died, Akane died as a kid mm -hmm. in one possible like timeline yeah. leaving brother her brother behind uh, that's how you and we know that brother is and or left are very gifted at telepathetic asper powers the morphogenic fields true i do see where you're coming from but yeah. i don't agree I, I, think so. I would hate it and I would love it because you you have stacked the the game so hard. First game, Junpei Akane have a cool magic power. Second game, Sigma can just do whatever by the end and you learn Fi can do it too. And now in the third one, everybody has it. The same way Which Sigma... makes it even more confusing. The same way Sigma, Fi and Akane to a degree have done all of this like time spanning adventure to try to save the world from like just as these three people from some possibilities, who says that there aren't other people who are adversaries to that? It definitely could be. I wouldn't put it past this game at this point. Telepathetic? Is it not telepathic? Telepath. Is it telepathetic? I mean, no comment for me. <laughs> it, if it is, I have the same trouble with... You said it. Yeah, but is that... I, I don't know if that's correct, um, because I, yes, telepathetic. Yeah, is, that is, is that the correct term? I don't think that... pathetic is in there. But uh, isn't it the same with sympathetic? We're like gonna uh, telepathic. The, the German words are slightly different and that is one of those things that always fucks me up. Sympathetic. Sympathetic? If I go German brain to English, it would just be sympathetic, but that doesn't like telepathic. Okay, so I did get it wrong. Well, Thank you. I'll try to remember that. We can argue some more about that tomorrow. I'm gonna go press the button. Non-telepathically. Please do. Yes. 
You're all pathetic. I am pathetic at these words. Anyway, thank you everybody for uh, You're watching. You're pathetic in the intro. My pathetic way of pronouncing things. We're back tomorrow with more questions to less answers. Thank you. Thank you.